Um, Toma, are you gonna, are you good to go then? Because I, I will. All right, well, we are live, so let me start off by saying, everyone who's just joining us, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you'll be watching back the VODs later. This is Fate Unlimited Codes. It has been a minute since we've been home on Toronto Top Tiers, but I am I am very happy to be here. Uh, if you have not seen this game before, this is a 2008 PS2 fighting game uh, featuring characters from Fate Stay Night, the Fate Stay Night franchise series, whatever you want to call it. Uh, most of our players, many of our players, are here from the Great Night White North, but two of the people that you're going to be hearing on the mic in just a second are not. So, American friends, why don't you introduce yourselves? Who's going to be commentating with us tonight? Sparrow? Uh, hi, I'm Sparrow. I'm the resident Zancer. Hi, and I'm Koma. Uh, resident everything, really, but no, I play, I play a few characters, um, uh, you know. Resident, uh, if you're not top two, you're not viable. Uh, <laughs> uh, Resident Bazette player one. Resident Bazette player, exactly. Maybe, maybe, if I, maybe if I make it to winners finals, I might pull out the Bazette. No, I'm for... talking to Toma. No, what are we talking about? I got, I got my Bazette brought, on lock. He brought Sakura all the way up to grand finals and all that. And see why he can't do that with Bazette. Well, anyways, well, we're gonna start off with our first match here. I don't think we need too much of an introduction. A lot of people who are watching this have either are gonna be learning about it for the first time, and they'll learn through seeing. Or if you're an old one, uh, an old one coming back, hopefully we can see you in the Discord. We have some big changes coming up that I will, uh, I will talk about later once we get further into the event, because I think we have some possibility of making online Fate Unlimited codes a lot nicer in the near future. But for right now, we're gonna get some good matches going. So I'm gonna leave you two to it. I'm gonna let them know that they can start and uh, take it away. One second though. Uh, yeah, for sure. Do I need to? Do I need to get him? Um, oh yes. Um, yeah, yeah. Or, so, or yeah. Nick so I'll, the I'll, 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 I'll let you in. If you check general, there's a something that you have to join. Um, I'll let you in, and then you'll be good to go. All right. So I'm gonna let them know they're good as soon as I get coma in. So coma, you go check general and add that, and then I'll let you in. Yeah. You also might want to um, fix the game name as well. It still says Fantasy Strike. So, Coma, not playing in the uh, 20 today, I see. Oh, wasn't right, Felon. I gotcha. I don't blame you. Oh yeah, we have a uh, a new. How do I get connected to that? Um, probably titanium off the ledge one. And I think I just saw him add you, so you should be good to. Uh, request to join. Okay, I've been there. Now, only, it's really annoying using Carsec, though, because I told you guys my situation with it. I'm gonna push the talk, and I can't really push the talk while talk Carsec, Carsec is. But... Yeah. Parsec is a little finicky with that. But I just, I'll make do. All right. I just put them in you. I mean, I'll make do with it. I, I know how to fix that. Alright. Oh, uh, and uh, Koma, if you, since you weren't here before, we are still on random. So we are going to be seeing first game random for uh, good old Shiro versus Kat. Yep. Okay. So, uh, level 5 versus Rakir. Glad to see we are uh, starting off with some two really good players. Yeah, I know. Really, right off the bat. Uh, I, I was like, this match is first, like right off the bat. 
I do feel uh, a little bad for level 5 though with this map, because he's either really far away, or gets to be really close. So why you feel bad for level 5? Well, so, as long as they're at the wrong angle, Rissir can just run away, or here. Like with this angle right now, he can kind of just keep level 5 away. Unless yeah, he but... just activates Doran and doesn't actually right, get what's... the uh, hitbox. But level five is at this angle right now, so it, it could be it could be bad and good for uh, for Caster really. True. Of, of no fun getting a to, nice damage. Wants a bigger state, like a, a stage that's bigger all around, you know. True. This gives too much variance, like with right now. What a nice uh, double jump, eh? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Like a little cross up setup. All right, right off the bat, two B. Level five getting it started. Blue beat, but no matter. Still, still combo. Still combo. Oh, going for the unscale again. Unscale, getting some see. solid damage. And a hard knockdown. The only thing, like, like I've said it before, the only thing about going for unscales that early is that you are spinning your activate, so you're not going to have any meter afterwards. Get yourself out of uh, pressure. And to get past you, you definitely want that. That is true. Although uh, level five, getting those counter hit jump C's. Yeah. The good old classic. Although he honestly can probably kill right here. Kill, he's definitely kill. Yeah, don't even need to do an unscale. All right, that drop there. He's going to. Matter. Oh, he doesn't really need to do it because that's an easier combo. Just super, and then it would have killed anyway. But still, level five uh, wins that one both rounds. Yes. All right, so uh, Rakir is going to be able to select the stage. Definitely going to go to Temple. Oh, goes past Temple. Goes past it actually. Yeah. And there goes back to it there. Sticking with the classics, but I don't blame him. It's a very good map for uh, Caster to be playing on. Level 5 just running into everything, but uh, still trying to get in. Yeah. Yeah, on this map, I feel like it's going to be a little harder for level 5 just because it's, it's not bigger in terms of square units, but it's like, it's bigger all around, you know what I mean? Like, every axis is... Yeah. Like, it, like, like you get what I'm saying. It's a... it's... Now level 5 bringing up his square. Reflect Guard Forte. Still very good at that. Alright, a little bit of meter kill. Going in, that's plus. If then Chiro with two full bars right now, this is definitely gonna be some damage. Yeah, it should, it should be it. Now this I'm okay with this activate once the end they quit, keep some of that meter for the next round. Yep, and just go straight for the super. And this has about a little over half a bar. Alright, this caster, the, the, the magic number is definitely having one bar. Since you can activate you can OTG activate out of her uh OP. Force him yep. to do um weaker OP. Being able to activate out of Hiroki makes it very nice and definitely steals a turn back. Or at the very least ends hers. But here we see a nice cross up from Rakir, teleporting right behind him. Yeah, I like the way that Love 5 has been maneuvering around these projectiles. Like, I actually haven't been having too much trouble getting in. To be fair, just about every tournament I think we've had, they've played a game. They have. So, both of them have a lot of matchup knowledge with this. Alright, here gets a throw. Uh, oh, missed. Misses the combo, but uh, does get a little extra chip and damage. And uh, tries to reflect out the skeleton. Yeah, I said that about level 5 maneuvering, but then getting zoned out this round. I said the stage, uh, stage choice looking out for. Uh, oh, yeah. and his combo gets interrupted by the. Uh, what do we even call that, anyways? A seal <laughs> grab? I don't know if we have a name for that. Oh, and he no. bursts right he bursts in the skeleton. skeleton. <laughs> Unfortunate. But still gets his turn back with that counter hit jump in. It's gonna get some nice damage off of this one. Okay, activate, resets the gravity scale in, and that's on scale. Yep. I didn't know you can on scale like that. That's interesting. Yeah, you could, yep. Alright, and uh, neutral activating for Akira, so he's also going to start gaining back health. And he does have a lot of meter, too. Yeah, I get him kind of health fast. Alright, 
Alright, Love Five does not have a bar right now. Oh, Rakir didn't have any meter. Did the. Uh... Oh, and counter hits him with an overhead. This should kill him. Okay, Love Five takes 2 0. Definitely a good showing, uh, but unfortunately, Rakir just wasn't able to adapt fast enough to level 5. Stuff, so I'm trying to get the uh, stream chat, stream chat up. Yeah, right. Three out of five now. Um, everything must be three out of five. All right. Uh, maybe. A bit eager. It is best of five for the whole event today. Oh, okay, cool. Got All it, right, so it. we get even more of uh, fucking action. Fantastic. And here we see Rakir just going in with it. Getting a nice little cross up, but reflect guard from level five. Unfortunately, didn't actually convert it. Good counter hit jump C though. He's going to get some nice damage off of this, especially if he's going to activate. I don't know if he should though. Nope. Just goes for a reset. Oh, and another cross up. And the same side this time. Rakir just yeah, running counted. the mix up. Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, level five got counted for some reason. Alright, getting, getting it started now. Have plenty of meter. If I wouldn't really spend it yet. Uh, at least, you know, not activate it. Nope, but he does get a hit and this kill. will kill. Yeah, save, save, save the meter. He goes in the next round with two bars. Damn shame for Rakir. He was running away with that game and then he just lost it in an instant. Good mash though on uh, level 5. It was a ground start. Uh, reflect guard into a super though. This is going to be a nice pickup for some damage. Do as much damage as he can. Level 5 Let's going go. for an unscale. 5.2k though. Nice damage. Dude, it's risky right now. <laughs> it's risky. Okay, he's not he's just gonna stay in there. I was like, it's risky if he got hit by uh, Cast or got hit by Rikir. Not enough meter to activate, so forced to get another hit to win this one. Oh. And he gets it. That's gonna be a 3 0 from level 5, showing he is not gained any rust. I am. What's, what's the stream link? Uh, we are doing Toronto Top Tiers 2 this time. Oh, I just checked that. Props to uh, Rakir, though, in that last round. He really, uh, really just started to run that gauntlet. Uh, for, again, fortunately for him though, he just wasn't able to adapt completely fast enough to what level 5 was able to do. Still a good showing. Definitely a good first game to start us off. Uh, next is Titanium and MKL. If I remember correctly, MKL played Salter, right? Yep. Alright. Definitely interested to see who Titanium is going to stick with today, though. Yeah, good point. It has been a while, yeah. Depends on if he's uh, been training at all. But I think he has. He did post that video, I think it was a few months ago or something, with those Salter combos. Some. Mm. Still, Salter can get some very easy damage, so it will be nice to see if he can actually get some optimal combos and just end Titanium's existence. But that all depends on who Titanium goes. Because honestly, if he sticks with Laser it, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more armor shenanigans. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy how people say how Salter does a ton of damage, but to me, it just doesn't seem like it's so much as like a lot of other characters, you know? It really isn't, because, like, Zancer can hit 6k, Lancer can hit, like, 5-6k easily. Gil just infinites you. The Salter deals the same damage of, like, 5-6k. It, yeah, it's just a lot easier. Realistically speaking, that is still her issue of it isn't actually more damage. It's just easier access to that damage. But I will agree, I do dislike that a bit, because... A lot of the times I've seen her combos, they have much more times where you need them to have less meter than other characters could realistically start with in order for it to not be burstable. 
Oh, I got what you're saying. So you're saying you could burst out of a combos a lot of the time? Yeah, because a lot of the times from what I've seen of some like high damaging salter combos, not much meter kill. And if they oh, that's very true. Yeah. yeah, and if they go for the meter kill with salter, she has meter kill, she but does. she does throw away damage for it, which is an issue. But if I think what uh, Titanium is going to use, um, if Mr. MK is not careful about uh, Titanium's Lizard, yeah. Yeah, I think it's Lizard that's coming, honestly. Most likely. But I mean, Titanium's Lizard is no slouch now. For sure. He has shown he can definitely take that character a lot farther than we thought people would. Yeah. Well, if my Salter has been like having problems with his Lizard, then yeah, definitely. I think Salter isn't really a uh, good pick against Laser. It. Yeah. I kind of feel like just everything Laser it has, even though Laser has next to no health, the armor and the fact that she outranges Salter, save for like the 2 on 4 X with Salter, kind of skews the neutral into Laser Saber, which is not something Salter wants. Exactly. She and she can't really, you know, side uh, step. A lot of lizards attacks too, so that's true. Yeah, Salter has a really bad side step, but that's just true again. That, I mean, that's true for any character. That's hard to side step laser in general. Yeah, laser it isn't a very easy character to side step. That uh, that five C you try to side step that you are not having a fun time. Right, right. It's just so risky to do it. Like, you could do it, but it's just so risky to like side step her, you know? Because if you honestly, do, what you I found hit. is just backdash through it. Yeah, back. That, yeah, that's honestly. The honestly the best option that's one thing a lot of people need to do more against certain moves like that because backdashing being invincible and being cancelable into other options is and you're airborne nice. so oh, you are? even if they, you're airborne during the backdash so even if they oh, yeah. like hit you out of backdash then there's some most of the time they're not ready for it they're not going to get a good combo i mean i'm just a little biased because Zancer, but yeah well Zancer. i mean Zancer has Two backdash just has a command but has normal backdash and a command backdash. Well he can backdash into command backdash, backdash into a counter, backdash into six four six A. Yeah. And he kinda just goes through your move. But um Salter not like the best option overall, but she does still have some armor. Like even if it's not the best option, six C is still something you can do to at the very least try and get your turn back. You can still DP. And Salter's DP is active, is invincible for uh, a little while, right? Very long time, yeah. And it's a lot of hits, that's important. So it's like, it's oh, good yeah, at yeah. shredding laser its armor. Not at even least, just not, not the armor, the, well, not, uh, not her armor. Super not, armor? If she does an armored move, it shreds through her health. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's not good at shredding like the armored moves because those are hyper armor, but I just mean yeah. her armor is super. Like the install, yeah, it will do yeah, a lot of, uh, do a lot of install damage, I guess would be an yeah. apt word to say or phrase but i'm pretty sure we've talked about this every time laser comes up if you have multi hits just use them yeah all right it does look like we are going to uh get into it see how i was saying the first game is random now huh so i wonder what yeah so i'm not entirely sure how well this will actually go for mkl if we random to a uh, to a big stage here because uh, laser it yeah, doesn't laser, have an laser, issue prefer. with big stages if she's fine it depends on the match it depends on yeah. the matchup for it for sure in this matchup definitely a large stage is in laser's favor Central but it looks City like fire, we're just going to like... fire the fire is pretty Central medium City, though you know. i don't really think anybody has much of an advantage here yeah oh. pretty neutral stage well, good uh good push block yeah no punish though generally that's what you want to do against laser you want to push block that uh 5c and then if Laser really only has a few options after a 5C. Drops the combo for the in the corner, unfortunately, for a Titanium, but uh, gets his turn back with that delayed string. Oh, Blue Beat, but this will be a full combo, I think. Oh, drops it, unfortunately. Nice anti with that DP. I'm just gonna get getting started. Mm -hmm. a little bit, but it's Another right. anti-air DP. Yeah, Titanium really going for those DPs right now. 
I mean, I don't blame him. He yeah, has just about full meter. And this... Oh, not gonna kill, but he does catch MKL, just not blocking right. there. It's that Tatum gonna 99 second install super. <laughs> I... No. He has done it before. He has done it before. <laughs> oh, and gets hit by the command grab. But no pickup from MKL, unfortunately. Yeah, you can confirm on that, right? Uh, yeah. At worst, you do like a 6C, but you can do a... Uh, a 6 2 3 a to pick it up. Oh, you said 6C after it, you know. Yeah. Just, don't, you... don't say that three times, please. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, good block on that first cross-up by, uh, by Titanium, but unfortunately the second cross-up is what gets him. But getting his turn back, getting a lot of damage on MKL right now. And MKL, not with too much meter. Just eating a lot of these hits. Yeah, trying to push block, but it, if your back to the wall, is. And uh, against the wall against Laser, she actually has a kind of nasty cross up with that uh, jump over. And goes for the install. And he gets a blue beat. Oh, oh, oh but he no stops blocking. Did. Unfortunate. Yeah, I know that uh, for anybody who's played like Strive right now, this is a good example. Leo Super, mm -hmm. even on block, it does not stop. Yeah, I've gotten caught by that before. I was thinking it was like uh, Exard, and I was like, nope. Nah. Nah, he's a monkey. He just goes. Yeah. Yeah, the first time I fought him, I got caught by that in start. But, uh, Titanium, good showing. He's showing that he still knows his laser at stuff, just needs to refine it and not drop so much. And MKO ate a lot of mids. Ate a lot of mids. He really just ate a lot of mids there. I mean, it's scary. The throw, throw is a thing. Yeah, laser's throw is pretty good. She gets a combo off it, full combo. She does. Really, the she... most important thing about it is not even the damage, it's the meter build. Because she's getting a, she's getting meter for you know install shit. If you don't want laser to die. Yeah. MKO probably gonna take us to maybe stairs or uh, basement, some small stage. Uh, yeah. Me personally, I would like kind of maybe a more moderate stage, like medium size, because just have oh. okay. Like, like, like Goes to your stop. favorite stage. Yeah, my favorite stage is a good stage. I don't entirely disagree with the choice. I do still think a smaller stage would have been better, but I guess it's at the very least not a large stage. He gets caught by the low, though. Unblockable. Tries to jump out of it, and unfortunately is going to get hit by a full combo. Installs. And gets a pickup. Alright, that's a solid con- I have not seen that route, actually. Okay, I've seen the same door That's a new route for me. And then during armor, too. It's a yeah. pretty, pretty good route. But now 4.3 damage. Good. That's nothing to scoff at. Yeah, but now Laser has no meter. With, with activation and all that, those resources? I don't know. <laughs> True. Oh, gets hit Maybe by I'm the over. The character that way. And unfortunately, MKL, no, uh, no RC there, so no conversion. I guess I'm started. Trying to go for it. Goes for a cross up grab. A good attempt, but unfortunately, uh, back dash is the group. That was a good attempt, though. Definitely an out of left field option. It, it felt kind of desperate. Um, because at that point, you know, you finally get, you've been getting oppressed the whole round, and then you finally get your opportunity. You're like, I gotta make something happen. I gotta make something happen. So you go for the grab, you know. So. He gets hit by the 5C. Unfortunately, Salter for uh, having Excalibur is actually kind of stubby. Yeah, in a way, I, like a way I fight, it just feels like MKL doesn't really know the Salter. I'm uh, not Salter, but the uh, laser matchup. Like, it, wow. Oh, and okay. hits from behind. Yeah, yeah, okay, could have teched out. But uh, yeah, MKL doesn't really seem to know the laser matchup because the way I fight laser, getting caught a lot by the 5Cs, I wait for the 5Cs in her string because when she does 5C, her options are limited. I don't think she can special cancel 5C on block. And um, she can only really go into 2C from it. So it's like she going into 5C. And then 5C, 2C, 2C, you just push block it. Yeah, you just push block. So it, at the wall, you could push block and into your, um, you push block into your EX uppercut. And it, it would just, you know, then that generally wins. I mean, I'm going from a Lancer perspective, but I think yeah. that would work with uh, Salter as well. But uh, taking it to the smaller stage, we're going to see how well this works out for him. Who just rushes in with the 2 one 4 and there's another 5C starter from Titanium. He likes his 5C starters, and I, I don't blame him. He has won a lot of interactions with it. 
And we're definitely going to see an install after this. If it's working, so, fix, you don't have to fix anything. What is the wake up? And he just ah, walks he up slowly up. and throws. <laughs> Slow I love walk it. up throw. And that's the fear we're talking about. You're, you're gonna get hit by a high, by like an overhead low, and then he just runs up and throws you. Is there a combo from Titanium? Oh, and the uh, DP yeah. drops, and MK has all the meter to work with right now. Ah, drops the combo, unfortunately. Oh, okay. it's fortunate for MK. No pick Goes up. for a reset, gets the uh, side swap and overhead. Oh, blue beats, unfortunately, but uh, still gonna get some nice Oki off of this. Ah, oh, missed that one though. Kept the team alive and gonna got the. Oh, oh, he's gonna he's burst, but it's gonna hit armor. This is anybody's game right now. Oh, and unfortunately, oh, that, that is punishable on block. MK MKL's round to lose right there. Oh my goodness. Definitely an unfortunate turn of events and. That was an interesting interaction. Yeah, that glitch happened. The RG glitch. <laughs> nope, gets hit by the overhead on wake up again. This is gonna be a lot of damage. Okay, it's a kill here. Oh, never mind. Um, no, but he is gonna. Oh, oh no, it is gonna kill. Mind. Yeah, no, Dude, MKL knows his combo still. Does 214C not scale? I guess it only um, does like a certain minimum amount of damage. Yeah, it does a good amount of damage even at the end of a long combo like that. And plus, that would have given, um, since he's out the wall, some solid Oki as well. Yeah. And just rams through the armor. Oh, wake up. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm up. Oh, and There's does the girl. Delays it a bit so that it actually hits this time. Gets him out of block stun. He's going to get some nice Oki after this knockdown again. Ah, oh, but he bursts out of it. Or activates out of it. Yeah, I'm going to double install <laughs> here. Uh, um, MKL's gonna have to block a long time. Oh, there's an overhead. Gonna reset the pressure. Okay. Good throw break. Really, the only thing when laser is installed, you just don't want to give her more meter, generally. Like, sure. You have to block it out, but you just don't want to get hit and give her more bar. And uh, del Titanium delays the jump and then gets a slow fall in B. Catches MKL trying to press a button. Oh, I did the punch. Didn't get a full cover on and Titanium gonna get an install. Unfortunately though, MKL's gonna get hit while going under him by that jump B. Okay, that's 3-0. That was 3? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, 3-0. Alright, it's gonna be two 3 in a row. Okay, I'll, I'll agree with you. It does feel like that uh, MKL kinda just lacks the max Jeff knowledge needed to... Uh, yeah, yeah, really close it out. Definitely showed that he could still close it out. That that combo in that first round was nothing to slap chat. I didn't get the bracket up. Uh, same. I was like, uh, Sparrow, your friend not dropping that money in the pot this week? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, nah, nah, it's not happening this week. Yeah. Uh, Titanium, good, uh, good show in there. Thank you. I'm, I'm saying, laser it, top tier. Yeah. So, Although that uh, first round, uh, MKO gave us a bit I of a scare. Know, I, I, that 6k did combo, I was... 5.2, but... 5.2, still, I, oh, no. you know, listen, I'm laser it, I was like, I don't want to armor that, you know? Like, oh yeah, that would have that would have hurt you. Yeah. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is Ultrasound and Chill have not shown up, so... I'm going to get uh, them to be DQ'd, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to do Sparrow and level 5 next. Uh, so I will My favorite. I will take over for you on the comm bench, and I'll get you set up, and then uh, me and Como I... will talk about that... Uh, what's, it, what's it called? Shiro JC, baby. Mm, my favorite. <laughs> yeah, one of the best air buttons in the game. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Sparrow, why don't you join me in Gen 1, and we'll get set up. Yep. So, to say, what is it? Oh, okay, actually. Right down there. Good luck. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, you gotta get it all set up. Because I was like, we haven't had one of these in like a couple weeks, have we? Huh? Oh, for two, sure. Two weeks, actually. Yeah. People yeah. been on that strive grind. I know that, man. I, am, I gotta say, I'm not a fan, but, uh, you know, I play it like everybody else. Uh huh.
Let me just move you over here. There we go. Yeah. I'm saying, should I have a prediction set up for one of these times, you know, so you can predict on matches and stuff? I know some streams have it. Uh, he said, are we excited? So Ryson's asking, are we excited for the new Melty Blood? Yes, I'm very excited. For oh, that. gosh. I uh, play, like, like I do play, like, older Melty Blood games. And it's, like, just their attention to detail and their faithfulness to the series. Just uh -huh. after, when I saw that side-by-side -side or whatever for, like, the Shiki, like, I was like, okay, from, like, uh, NBA CC and uh, – for the for the new one for Type Lumina, I was like, okay, I, I'm I'm hooked. You guys got me already. You guys got me. Like like, when is it September thirtieth? <laughs> when showing, like, it break. seems so long, I need to play that gamer. Um, I'm sure you're getting it for PC, no? Yeah, I'm getting it for PC. I'm hoping Nero is announced. I uh, either Nero or Alka. I'm pretty sure Alka's gonna be in, but I really uh -huh. want Nero because I'm I'm a Nero player. Uh. So it'll, it'll be cool to see him in there. But otherwise, uh, I mean, I'm still going to play. If anything, I'll just play Kohaku or something. I need to play my waifus, man. Oh, what, oh. A, what a line to come in on. What? <laughs> we were talking uh, about Melty. Can I play his waifus? Yeah, we were talking about Melty. Uh, someone asked if we were excited for it. Oh, I, mean, yeah, I, I think a lot of us are, are pretty excited. Uh, it's going to be a very different game from Fate and probably a pretty different game from old melty but that doesn't mean no, i'm not gonna probably be the same uh be very similar? similar yeah yeah there's like a side by side that they showed and it was very similar anyway need to change the name hold on are they live or doing button check uh they might be doing button check uh button i mean check? this looks okay uh, i mean i'm not sure this looks like I mean, it looks kind of <laughs> yeah i was gonna say it looks like sparrow is neutral uh <laughs> right right exactly exactly <laughs> all right yeah this looks pretty real i think they might have just been hesitant at the start uh Interesting, oh yeah, I was about to say interesting stage choice, but we're random stage one, baby. Yeah. We don't see this one often. Uh, Some people like it. I think it's interesting. I mean, it's kind of just like a, I, I think of it as like a mini church. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like, if you like church, this would be your second uh, sta ideal stage. Uh, interesting game stuck in that corner there. Actually, it's a funny little interaction that Zero Lancer can have. We don't, we don't really talk about, um, you know, moves hitting from clockwise or counterclockwise, like we do in Tekken, uh, or like Soul Calibur. Yeah, but that's not really a thing. In this game. No, it's not. But I think Zero Lancer is a character because he has two command dashes that travel right. either clockwise or counterclockwise. He he actually will care about that more than other characters. What moves that track to the left or track to the right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's all relative, but like it's not like going to be a big thing. But it's something that you can be aware of in those corner situations. Oh wow, Never really uh, unfortunate. Yeah, like, gets the air hit, but not the air counter hit. Wow, that clash! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that move is good... invincible, too. You need a good scramble button, yeah. I'm. Oh gosh, Sparrow just does not want that meter on the field. Which I kind of respect, honestly. Like, level 5 will make use of it, and he will go for his unskills pretty consistently. Exactly. Um, yeah, Shiro definitely needs the meter more so than Zero Lancer in this matchup. So. The thing is, is I'm pretty sure that he can earn a bar's worth of meter oh, off sure. of uh, his BNB. So like, it's it's only changing his combos so much to have it or not. Although gets it properly, the unscale. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's combo. not so much it's not so much for the combos. It's that like for the neutral when he's blocking, you know. Yeah. Like, it's that it's the other stuff. His pressure. RG. Yeah. Now that should kill. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Let go of block. I mean, it's not a very good Rekka, his two supers, but it is a threatening one. Oh, that what you, oh yeah, yeah, you're saying to delay it? Yeah, to delay the second uh, super attack for Zero Lancer, it's it's very threatening, but it's not actually that good, because you're mm -hmm. true punishable uh, either way, like pretty significantly. So it really is just coin flipping your opponent. I love the uh, instant dive kick. Really threatening tool from Zero Lancer. And honestly, we talk about that tool being like punishable. Like different characters can uh, jab it, or they can, or they can grab it, depending on the range. But doing it not out of another move usually leaves you out of throw range. So it's actually a really good tool. Okay, there's something I'm, I'm gonna talk after you know after this set or maybe the match. But I just see it's 
talk about something Doctor Zero is saying in the chat. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, you know, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna defend it. But all right, we're going in about the. I'm curious the, now. I don't have eyes in the chat. Oh, you don't, you don't have that up? No, because Doctor Zero. Dude, nothing good. compared to top tier. It's literally one shop, infinite and unskilled super glitch combos. Ooh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Do you know what I want to say? You know exactly. I know. I know exactly what you want to say. I will say we will be brief, and we will say that some content you may have seen about this game may have been uh, modified in yes. certain ways, and yes. not be as indicative as you think it is. Right, but we'll talk about it after the set going in. Uh, cho choosing who who was choosing this stage? Um, uh, I guess he wants his own. Oh um, yeah, we, yeah, we saw Shiro choosing the stage. He's, yeah. Again, and uh, yeah, like uh, one of the larger stages that we end up seeing. The thing is, is that. Zoning Zero Lancer is awkward because he's fine running away. Like with this, exactly. with this lead, he might just spend 80 seconds like just hanging out, and that seems like exactly what he's doing. He's saying, if you're not going to approach me, we're not going to interact. Um, exactly. Although going in a bit more than I expected. Yeah, larger stage favors Zero Lancer more. I feel, even in this matchup. I think in I, I think that. Uh, Part of it might just be wanting to avoid the corner because we're watch mm. we're seeing a lot of jump back JCs yeah. from uh, from level five, and he might just be saying to himself, "Well, I want more space to play with behind me," um, which is not a bad option, but I think it's just you gotta be worried. E excessive use of JC. I'm surprised that we're not seeing more uh, side steps from Zero Lancer. Because while it is a very good air button. All air buttons lose to sidestep pretty, pretty well. well. It's, it's the fact that it's projectile. So, like, yes. Projectile just lose, yeah. Well, it, it's also just air buttons. Once you're airborne, yeah. you're stuck in the direction you're That's facing. It. It's harder. Yeah, I find it hard to sidestep. What uh, the? Interesting oh, yeah, there's that, interaction. There, yeah, yeah. There's that frame where you just disappear. <laughs> Level 5 doing a really good job getting his bread and butters. I I mean, in this matchup, you might as well spend your meter every combo. Just because the moment you get touched, you are losing all of it. That's true. I don't agree, though. Like, because it depends on the character. You may just want some Oki. And, like, like you want your meter if you're doing Oki. Like, let's say you go for a throw and they jump your throw. You want to be able to activate and cancel your throw or whatever. So That's I get true. what you're saying, but it's like... It, it really depends. It depends. Yeah. The thing is, keeping your meter is like a big, a big choice because like yeah. it, it is very use it or lose it in a lot of scenarios once mm -hmm. you get touched. And dang, really finding those overheads cleanly. Nice. Oh, okay, I was gonna say nice confirm. He probably could have uh, hit any button and gotten the kill, but instead sat there and fortunately loses the game for it. But where do you think we're gonna head to now with uh now that we're on Zero Lancer's counter pick? Uh, probably going to since a smaller. I think we're gonna go to like a more rectangular stage, maybe. Um, it's a smaller stage for sure, because that's what worked for Sparrow in the first game. Mm -hmm. So you think maybe like church? Forest. Oh, okay. interesting forest. Well, forest is a little uh, smaller, smaller stage, but mainly because it's quote unquote circular. You know. I yeah, it's know. got it's got those funky walls. I mean, I I don't know. Shiro wasn't really making use of wall combos an excessive amount. Uh, you know what it might be? It's that. Uh, What's it called? Sparrow does know his optimal wall combo with Zero Lancer, and he might be thinking, hey, maybe if I can get close to the wall quickly, I can make you more, uh, more use out of a hit. Yeah, that's true. All right, get, you're getting a good combo from uh, level five right now. Yeah, really holding uh, Zero Lancer right against the ground. Wake up, throw, you yeah. love it. See, it wasn't a true meaty then, because that count is not, not uh, zero frames, right? It's not instant, I should say, one frame. No, it's uh, frame five. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I think all of Zero Lancer's mm. ooh, counters and invincibility, it, it's all built around frame five. Okay. Under the prem I think it's under the premise of he doesn't really get a jab, uh, like a fast jab. Right. So that functions as his jab in those in, in uh, situations. Oh, catch the back dash. That's good stuff from um, yeah. level five. I know uh, Sparrow loves his back dashes. I mean, <laughs> like, it's, 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 back dashes are good. You can't say no to them. But remember, for a while we didn't realize that Zero Lancer's uh, command back dash had invincibility. Had some invincibility on it. Yeah. Yeah. That, so now that we know, I think he's very conscious of it. I think we saw the reaction to the six uh, six C. Exactly what you said. 
you'd be showing off to us if we dared to see <laughs> you in person. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, kinda, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of like the the activate just to get get a zero lancer off of him though. I don't think that's the worst that was the worst option in that scenario. Um, and as we said, like you can use your meter in different ways, and that's one way. Uh, definitely to use it. Recover a bit of health right. and uh, reset this to neutral. Yeah, both yeah, players team wanting team. to wait, but Sparrow way more aggressive than I think he needs to be right now. I mean, nah, he, he, smell, he smells blood. That's true. He He's excited. There. And kills the meter for the next round, too. Yeah, that's true. Getting the meter combo, like, leading into next round, always oh, worth it. You... Yeah. As the opponent fighting Zero Lancer, that, that, that sucks. I hate that. Like, I'm just like, man, I'll go to the next round with no bar. <laughs> <laughs> and you lost I'm, for it. I mean, we've got several several characters are built around that. Like, yeah. like Rider should be built around it. Uh, Zero Lancer. Honestly, like, most of the higher tier characters, meter drain is just so worth it in so many scenarios. Oh, misses yeah, the unskill. No, got get it, the arrow it. out. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, missed it, yeah. He canceled the before the arrow came out, yeah. yeah. Oh, really have to be careful here with Zero Lancer. He will get, oh, I was going to say a big combo, but not quite. Jump C. These jump C's is tearing Sparrow up. Yes, a anyone who is watching, that arrow that we are seeing him consistently, the his air fireball, that is a air normal, and it is extremely good. <laughs> Because it will confirm a hit from almost any range on hit, uh, and counter hit even if he's jumping back with it, he'll get a combo off of okay. it. Okay, this is actually what I thought the counter pick was going to be for Sparrow the first time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Shinto City Fire, that's what I thought. Okay, so a bit more normal walls, but small stage, yeah. Yeah, wow. he definitely likes the stage, dude. Gets into the hit mm, off that. Okay, yeah. Tom will get to the wall though. Sparrow does not want to be here. It has some options though, it has meter. But just back, just gets out, back back to the few times. Gets hit again, and this yeah. could be death, maybe build a bar? Uh, nope. He, he, I mean, he probably would have if he hadn't dropped it, but the thing is, is that Zero Lancer, I mean, we need to see Sparrow watching his toes a bit more. He's yeah. really just been uh, getting just poked by those lows. Mm -hmm. Um. He might be trying to input a special that doesn't come out before the block sends over, but um, you really just have to be conscious of it. Again, nice RG. Will, will, will lead to a combo. Yeah, this is match point for uh, level five. Uh, if he can get the full sequence, yeah. There it is. The arrow came out that time. Yeah. Then no, did it? Like no, I, I think I think he stopped it early again. Yeah. yeah oh, unfortunate it. burst. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> All right, just an air counter hit, though. This should yeah, be it. Um, just don't drop it. Oh, he looks like he's about to drop it. Really. He's very low to the ground. Oh, no, but activate nice. resets the gravity. so it's all Activate good. really did it. And there we go. 3-1, taking it for level 5. That's it, 3-1. Yep. I'll uh, hop over to the other side, and I'll say that Diz and I, Toronto, a classic Toronto matchup, will have to happen. All right, now I'm going to discuss what... Oh boy, was saying in the chat, uh, Dr. Zero was saying in the chat. Alright, so where is that? 3 1 4 level 5 Chan. I like how the music was playing the uh, UBW. Yeah. I was like, Yeah, yeah, and he's playing Shiro. Really it's like, he's not ready for the UBW. It's like, yeah. oh, he actually won. <laughs> so, Alright, so the comment was this damage is nothing compared to top tiers who can literally one shot with infinite unskilled super glitch combos. Alright, so the way this game is designed. One shots don't really happen too often. Um, no. I know people have seen like that Lancer clip, which was actually that was with higher damage. So that was like with uh, like the, on the arcade cabinet for that tournament. After the tournament was done, they turned up the damage just for fun. It was like that Rider and Lancer clip. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah I know so, the exact clip you're talking about. So yeah, so they turned up that damage or whatever. It was in the will it will it kill or whatever for Sage. I know you had it. So. That was that was a higher damage. So so generally you won't see that. It's even from like Lancer. He's the top tier character. So it's like normally just because of how meter gain works in this game, uh, since burst is tied to meter, which it needs to be. So once you have two meters, you can burst. Once the lower your health is, the more meter you build, 
and the more hits i believe it is too the more media you're building as well so it, like if somebody's doing an infinite to you you more than likely are going to almost always going to have like the bar you're going to get bar to burst so the pirate hey, dude maybe hey guys 50 percent. yeah what's up i just want to say what's up who to say i just want to say enjoy this 40. have 40 dollars yeah there's, there's 40 bucks in the maturino now oh, oh yeah thanks, safety. cool Oh yeah, there is a Macerino if you guys uh, go to your chat and do exclamation mark yeah. Macerino like this. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to get the uh, link towards our uh, Macerino if you want to donate or just, you know, claim the code and, you know, free money towards us, you know, for the jack uh, pot price, yo. All's good. And thank you for supporting. Yeah. So yeah, that's generally so generally how the game is designed. You won't see that. So if you see like, you know, top level footage, you won't see it, TODs or anything like that. So you'll see know, two it's a misconception. Touches, but... It's definitely a mis. You, you can see two touches. Yes, it's a misconception about this game though. Like uh, people are like, oh, it's all TODs or whatever, or, or this and that. Like it's a pretty uh, common misconception. Characters can TOD, but it's like it's not really it's in their favor. It's very uh, situational. Luffy can situation. definitely touch a death here, but uh, good luck getting that hit. Yeah, good luck getting the hit. They may be able to burst, and you generally need to activate to do it. So if yeah. I see you activate and I have burst, I'm just going to burst because now you have no meter, and that was that was that means I was well spent. I may have a bar or whatever it may be, and I can just rush you down now. And I've seen that happen before. People try to go for the damage, they get bursted, and then they just get ran back on because they have no bar to protect themselves. So yeah, meter is very important in this game, and you need meter to do damage, but. You, know, you also need meter defensively, so generally you're not going to spend your meter for the damage unless you know the can burst. But all right, you know I said, you know I said my two cents about it. Hey, just misconception. Unless about. unless you unless there's an archer player doing his TOD, then you'll be like, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let him do it because you know how hard it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm just you know, <laughs> true. But uh, yeah. So what, what we got coming up? It's titanium versus this. Yep, we're gonna be seeing archer versus laser, and I uh. Feel a little bad for for titanium because we have seen this match before. Not a uh, not a fun know. matchup. Five but yeah, titanium should know this matchup though. He should, and I mean I'm pretty sure he does, but that doesn't change the fact that it's still not a uh, good matchup. Uh, but laser, yeah, but got, got a good uh, stage on random though. Nice That's small true. stage for titanium. Definitely wants this. And making great use of it, rushing down this in the corner. Yeah, yeah as thankfully, long as, uh, yeah, as long as that is the one out. It's yeah. not a good matchup because normally Archer kind of just keeps you at a distance, but uh, mm -hmm. if there is no distance to be kept, then it's kind of just a yeah. slugfest. And Laser yeah. does win that. Yeah. This is keeping it seem simple. Yeah. Although, yeah, Nick, was, uh, I, say, I do want to hear some from you because I know you're an Archer player. So yeah, yeah. And I played this matchup. Yeah, so you. You just don't want Lezard to be in your face, that's all. Ooh! Ooh! And that's okay, we got those now, alright! We got it those, this, alright. Almost is 6k, the first time, I like the first time. it. I've seen him do it on screen. They've done him before. Oh, really? But cool it, thing? He, um, last tournament. He okay. did him a few times. He did it like once or twice. It's definitely a bit of a rarity, but he's getting there. Oh, that was the right bit. Big. Oh, like that. Okay, that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's nice seeing those random like chats and having like an archer player. Like, oh, he's trying to do this. Soul archer players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> blocks the overhead, but tries to push block, and that is not a good idea yeah, when you're next to a wall. Exactly. Oh, needy. Now, chance not a DP, but he's trying to do the DP input and got yes, chance. Yes. Yeah, oh. and so with the super. Yep. I'm gonna have almost a full bar at the end of this for next round. Cause maybe like you saying Diz is probably mashing DP and got it, right? So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is, Stabs into the 5C. Chant is double quarter circle forward. <laughs> Ooh, that's a right. bad opening right there for Titania. Oh, okay. That's nice push block. Ooh, with Wait that throw. Wait for the grab, unfortunately. Yeah, activate that time. Was already in activation. Ooh, yeah, that 5P that, that, that beats it, yeah. Oh, oh and uh, he caught, he oh, caught him. Oh, by the super. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate. Gonna get uh, some nice little okay. I think that was a read. 
He definitely read the super, but it's unfortunate yeah. that it still clipped him. And it's gonna lose him around from that combo. And the game. Alright, let's see what Uh No, Trant is um... not DP. It's it's the uh, super motion, but if you're just smashing DP, yeah, super is gonna Gary, come out. Yeah. All right, let's see what stage figure we'll get from Diz. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm just about to say, shit, give me a house. Yeah. He likes the stage as like his his big his big stage. That's, that's usually what he picks. I don't blame him. Archer, give a house. Oh, yeah, just went in. All right. Oh, gets the overhead and Archer's up for a combo. Is he going for it? Yeah, he's going for it. Yeah, he's going yeah, for it. He's been doing. He's been trying to. Oh, he ends up with the... Yeah. yeah. I, I prefer, bad. Yeah, yeah. I'd say Super Ender probably Nick, right? Like, yeah. it's pretty good. You don't have to unscale, but you can do just normal, you know, shoot or get some Oki. For sure, yeah. Hard knockdown. That's the unfortunate thing about Archie. He doesn't really have any good hard yeah, knockdown. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's a really good position he's in right now. But yeah, here we go. This yeah, is why going he picked on this a stage. perfect. All right. A nice first round. Yeah, that's why Diz picked this stage. It wants his own. I don't blame him. That's how you win the matchup. Huh. All right, Burst keeps at distance now. A good Burst, actually. Yeah, we'll build that meter back anyway, you know. <laughs> like, let's be right. Out there. Alright, backing himself to the wall, though. Does and his super someone, armor yeah. go through his uh, thing, though? I know, but from this range, like, super armor's not gonna go through that, but. Em emulator glitch? Yeah, I came back once. <laughs> Alright, that was a quick game, too. Yeah, there's it definitely not a stage the, wizard yeah. once again. This is going to be one of those um, sets, I feel, where it's going to go down to the last one just because of the stage choices. So Tatum mm. got the stage advantage in the first game. Diz got the pick. Tatum now gets an advantage. Maybe smaller stage may win. Diz gets the pick. Bigger stage may win. You know, you know, go down to the last game. So a stage, and if it goes to that point, then Tatum will have the stage advantage. But um, oh, but so goes Ryder. Ryder. and uh, Ryson's asking is chant a viable thing to do, Nick? <laughs> no, I don't say no. I answer for you, no, right? But and it's a small stage too, so yeah, chant is not a viable thing. Um, UBW, it's cool though. Wow, it does need a lift. I'm reading the chat. It's like if you got pulled chanting into. You be the W. That means you suck. Exactly. <laughs> because the dude, it either means you as a player suck because yeah. you did all this damn like like that means you got all these opportunities to hit them and didn't yeah. kill them, or it means that the opponent starts they let you use all that meter for chance. Yeah. <laughs> like, and they got hit that many times. I usually do that towards like uh, player new players, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel bad, but at the same time it's just like it's a good warm up for my fingers. All right, Oki. Nice. Oh, yeah, dive kick. Just started going on the other side. And burst out. But now we're going back to neutral. I right, get caught by the chain. Damn, getting Oki. Dive kick again. The dive kick is not an overhead, but it's same side uh, mix up. Is why it's getting hit. Alright, what's the Ryder matchup? Um, Nick, how, how do you feel Archer does in this matchup? He okay. has tools <laughs> like, against uh, Ryder stuff, that's for sure. It, it just all comes down to like, uh, I guess stage also. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That was a good backdash, but uh, you know, Ooh. Titanium went for the uh, that rush down, yeah. Delayed up a cut. Titanium gets a chain, gets Oki, it's the same side mix up again! Drops the combo, this is in there now, misses the throw, oh. late activation, punishes nice. the chain. Oh, misses, misses timing the... Uh, and now, look what yeah. mode he's in. Alright, switches back to sword. That's the thing about Archer, he has two, he's a two mode character. He has two modes, he, either a sword mode or his bow mode. Bow mode is pretty weak uh, if you're getting rushed down, since he, he can't even throw in bow mode, or RG. I feel bad for Titanium oh. after that. Okay, chain. there. This was, That's my only oh, oh, Backdash is through it and just throws a chain. Yeah, backdash chain cancel. Could have, could Man, have, that was nice. He could have connected that with that hit. Okay, hit. 
Oh well. And now Titania, I'm gonna have to uh, stick with Ryder for another two games if he wants to take this one. Well, but it does seem like the change is working out so far. Since he switched to Ryder, forgot to switch his uh, character out of his side. There you go. I don't like that you can uh, switch character and your stage, but that's a conversation for another time. Yeah. But all right. Oh, and uh, counter hit Helm Sweater. It's going to be some solid damage. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, solid trap there. I do like the stage choice. That, that I'm hoping that was that. intentional. I want to talk about the stage choice because uh, Ryder is a big, this stage, generally. She needs good corners. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ryder's nice. a uh, character which she does good corner damage and corner carry and stuff and corner combos. But this stage is kind of like the anti corner combo stage just because of how it's mapped out. Who opens uh, him up again? It doesn't matter if you're at the wall. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, really, it doesn't, really seem like doesn't need the wall if he can just kill you without it. Alright, that's gonna kill. This is gonna be some good damage. No, no, almost, cool. almost kills. Yeah, I just gotta. Oh, Go that's in, a good And change. this is gonna be some Oki. This could be it. Oh, right. him with it. He doesn't have I think meat. That's this it. If he doesn't drop be... it. Yeah, he can just change. Yeah, it's a. Oh, oh drops, drops it. Drops it. Oh. Uh, but get some jumping. He was in bow mode. How unfortunate. Yeah, that's bow mode. So, a match you... point for Titanium. Titanium is sitting on a full stack of Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of meter down there. Just gonna use it there for the burst. Alright, just get some poke. Here we go. And see, this is why I talk about the stage. Oh. You saw that he has a wall, but he's just going around the stage. Hits him with continue. the overhead. Yeah. Yeah. So no, uh, no meter to actually convert into it, though, no RC. Yeah. Yeah, I think he used up his RC a little bit uh, earlier. I bet that's why. Is he gonna do my combo? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo. he got it. He just, and that's he it. Yeah. Yeah. No, if he did it two did more, he would have gotten it. Yeah, it looked like he was too close for it, right? Oh, yeah, he was. He was, he was, he was actually quite close to make five, so to the wall. But alright, look at the it. meter though. Look at the meter advantage Titanium has. Yeah, yeah. and another counter hit home spiker. Gonna force a burst out from Titanium for that one. Going into bow mode. Ooh. And opens him low with that standing low again. Yeah, see, going around the stage here, the rider can't get a corner combo, but still gonna get some Oki. Oh, gets the same side. Right, at the wall now, though. Oh, and he's meter killing. There we go. I'm gonna get he's a nice Oki situation again. Gonna be same side again. Diz blocking it this time. Yeah. Grab. Another. Oh, another. Oh, super oh jumps for it. They'll, gets a delay. Yeah, it was a counter hit, too. I wonder what Diz is trying to do. Oh, drops the combo. Oh, in nice RG. RG. Good stuff by Titanium, and then Archie's really for a standing low again. And he goes on to win his finals. Yeah, Ryder's rush down, but she, yeah, she has like good options, like some good projectiles with her chain. Um, yeah. Her air chain's really good. She has 2-2-C, which can get in on zoners, but I say that move is a meme. Um... Okay, I guess we can start doing uh, Lures Aside now. Uh, well, Chill and, uh, Ultrashawn still aren't here, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna deco them. Yeah. So, so we can start... to be Diz versus Cure then to be next, right? Uh, we can do Spar versus Mr. MKL first, since, uh, you guys haven't been playing a while. And that's Diz fair. just yeah, played, that's so... That's fair. Alright, um, I guess we'll let them know. Oh, we'll I am, Mr. Uh... MKL. Yeah, just, uh, or maybe just not. let him know. I myself am a little unsure. Hold on, sir. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Like, do you want to do me and Rikir next, so? Cool. Um, sh shouldn't we have Mr. MKL versus uh, Sparrow first? Cause You'd rather do that? Okay. Yeah, since this just played. Yeah, so. Okay, sure. All right. I yeah. All right. No worries. Then I'll do. I'll do Sparrow. 
I'll All right, cool. him in. Sounds good. Grab chat. Yeah, Blue right. Mary's not really a grappler. I would say that Ryder does share some moves with Blue Mary, like that slide. Um, all right, yeah. So, yeah, so um, let me switch my thing here. Alright, so while they're getting ready... Yeah, who's it gonna be? So it's gonna be Sparrow versus uh, Mr. MKL. Okay. So it's gonna be Z uh, Zancer versus uh, uh, Salter, right? Yeah. This is another interesting matchup, too. I would think Zancer just destroys Salter. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Zero Lancer has a lot of multi-hit moves, so it crushes 60. Um, Saber Alter, her movement's really slow. Mm -hmm. So especially on a bigger stage, uh, Zero Lancer can just get the hit and just run away. And uh -huh. it's, really, it's really hard for uh, Saber Alter to catch him. Um, it's it, it, it could be rough. It could be rough for her, I feel. It's one mm -hmm. of the worst matchups, in my opinion. Well, about Zero Lancer versus Berserker. <laughs> yeah, that one's pretty rough for Berserker as well because yeah, he's a huge he's a huge target. It's yeah, like... if Zero Lancer is really good against characters, where he can just like well, one he, he crushes armor pretty well, mm -hmm. and he can like just run away, you know. So against slow characters, he does really well against. But okay, uh, they just get anything set up. It's gotten pretty fast at that, to be honest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, make sure all the buttons are good. We don't really do button checks here, though. Not for sure. Oh. Like, it really depends on the game whether I do a button check or not, you know? Mm hmm. And on like the stakes, like for like a you know this type of tournament, I wouldn't do it. But hey, some people may it may mean it may mean more to them than you know it means to me or whatever. Like I don't know, everybody's different. But if it was like Evo or something, obviously I'm checking my butt. I'm doing a butt. <laughs> oh hell yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> and it's offline too, so you right, gotta exactly. make sure your uh, stuff is in. Oh. So player one is uh, Sparrow. Yeah, Doctor Zero. I I agree. Like like Salter, trying to trying to win <laughs> with Salter is just hard because the the advantage of Salter is like her 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 ease of use, right? But I'm coming, level, I'm coming I'm coming in on you hating on the low tiers. Yeah, at a certain level, it's like most characters, like most players, are going to have their characters hard stuff down, and they will be doing yeah. as much damage as you as the Salter player. So it's like, what are you getting in at that point? Yeah, that's so, fair. I think like her neutral game is like being as limited as it is, um, especially in this matchup. Like, I think this, matchup, yeah. this is one of, I would imagine, Salter's worst matchups, just because yep. if he if he wants to, he does not have to play with her at all. Mm -hmm. Especially depending on his stage. MK, MKL's I mean, in there right now. Uh, 60 I mean, there are really good Salter players. Like you can, there are. Yeah. Like me? Like wink, you. Wink, <laughs> wink, wink. Maybe once your wrist isn't broken. <laughs> Yeah, once once this is all good, once your limiters are uh, taken off. Exactly. Yeah, I will be up there. I'm telling y'all. I look like armor. Just let me know when y'all good. Yeah, I I plan on it. I I definitely a lot of. Like, I was talking with Sparrow about it as well because he wants to drive up, and I'm like, all right, we will host something that everyone can come to. Get level five out from Montreal. Uh, mm -hmm. Get all of the Toronto players in one place. Convince also, the Londonites to play again. Also, Canada's opening up to Americans who got vaccinated, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, any American player who's vaccinated are uh, welcome. Welcome to yeah. come hang out. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so let's, the... let's go back to what's happening on screen, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, MKL actually taking the first one, actually we were just saying that this was a, a very rough matchup. Damn, he's getting the lows. Well, yeah, he, he, one thing about, like, MKL is he's figured out the mix-ups that work for him, which are mostly uh -huh. built around his uh, 214B, his yeah. dash-through. 
Um, which I respect. I mean, he he can do a side cross up if he cancels it correctly, and he's got a uh, strike throw Ooh. and just sits on top of you. It's also really weird because if you push block him at the wrong time, uh, it will push him into you, not away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll take the first game. Wow. Nice job. After, you know, yeah. after all, after all my dunking on Salter and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how do you like my uh, layout for the stream? I'll be honest, I watched through Parsec, so That's I... That's what I'm saying, I watched through uh, Parsec, I can't see it. <laughs> I'm streaming on Discord. I'm oh, you are. you are. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually pretty certain you're not. But, oh, no, you're not, you're not. No, I'm not no, anymore? Oh, because I switched, that's but right. But that, that said, I have seen it, because I, when I wasn't playing or coming, I watched on stream. And I actually love it, the character portraits. Yeah. Dude, we talked about that for a while, getting that yeah. to be uh, standard, but... I, uh, I'm a big fan of it. Yeah. Still need Four some by work. three revolution. Yeah, we need to see Sparrow just making use of that big range, because like yeah. he can just space out a lot of Salter's tools. Um, and when he does, she doesn't have a lot of answers that aren't like huge commitment. Um Five two they ever get in there. And yeah, MKO just yeah, Sparrow just wasn't blocking on wake up there. Um, oh, well, the hit, nice. Yeah, That'll kill, kill then. Yeah, MKL is really consistent with his uh, Salter damage, which I think is a major, ooh, mm -hmm. major part of his ability to sort of uh, come back after not playing for a bit and still be yeah. competitive. Uh, we'll definitely have some words with Sparrow if he goes 0 2 in uh, the first bracket in a minute. I'm sure he won't hear the end of it. That 5A whip, I know Sparrow hates that 5A oh. from Zero Lancer. Yeah, Zero Lancer's fastest button being 10 frames, his 2A is so, so hard for him. Yeah, his fastest button that will hit Crouchers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or just, I think, like, a, char a character as short as Saber Alter, I think at full range, it'll also whiff on her standing. Yeah, his 5A whip. His 5A, yeah, so he can't yeah. even rely on that. Even if she's stamp blocking. Yeah, his 5A 7 frames is 2A 10. Yeah, and nice burst. Really needed it. Did not wake up with DP despite Salter being in the air. Uh, oh, back oh, dash. Oh, nice back dash. You love to see it. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad That was a bad part on Mr. MKL. I know. Yeah, it could... Even yeah. if it got blocked, it would have uh, lost, right? Yeah. That was the B version, I think. Even if it was DC. Even it was C. If it was the A version, then it would have been safe. So yeah. he could have done that, but... I think he just needed to cover that ground. He didn't want to sort of go back to neutral. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, JC hit Sparrow. And this... Oh, okay, I was about to say, I could have killed. You know, I if... thought that Saber Alter was going to be outside of the range for that to hit. Oh, it doesn't just Ooh. toss out the super. I kind of was expecting it just to... Really? Yeah, I don't know. The way he was moving, he kind of just looked like he wanted to be at uh, whiff punish range. With no, super. that that's super. Oof. Yeah, do, doing a do, do a little chip damage. Yeah, I don't hate it I honestly. Hate it like zero lancer just oh, such a threatening cool. range. It should kill. Oh, should, I was gonna say should kill, but misses the DP, gets a two three six. Okay, and, what's a hard knockdown? Gets a two a two A on on meaty. Yeah, Sparrow just needs to put on the pressure. The issue Might is he has to, to watch. Him. He has to watch out for the wake up DP because I, I or 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 six really? six C. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> nice cancel and finds the hit and going up two O. Oh my goodness! I know Sparrow's uh, Sparrow's in the other room sweating. I see that smug salter face in the corner. Yeah, honestly, that stage choice from Sparrow, I did not like it. Um, because I know, you know, people talk about that stage. It's just a very polarizing stage, right? I'd rather have yeah. him do a stage that's just completely big all the way around. But no, going for another, another small stage. Yeah, I think he's switching it up. The thing is, is that if, if Sparrow played differently, I think that stage is good. But Sparrow plays too aggressively yeah, to yeah. truly, like, just run away. Um, and he's gonna, okay, drops the combo. It confirmed properly. Oh, okay, watch out for that one. <laughs> yeah, it, we might have, we might see Sparrow uh, lose if he keeps trying to rely on that 5C or 5A. It's not doing him any favors right now. 
And God, Saber Alter is beefy. She has, I think, the highest health pool in the game. It's tied with uh, Berserker, tied with yeah. Berserker, yeah. Although, aesthetically, you would think Berserker would have more, but Saber Alter, kind of chunky. Now, if he can not drop this, he can get the round with this one. Yeah, it's gets the super, to the not too high. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, that hit too weird, high. bro. That hit very weird. Still hit, though. Oh, and finds two counter hits in a row. Oh, no meter canceled. No punish, though. I think he was scared. It looked a little bit close to being cancelable. So, so uh, Sparrow just probably was nervous to hit a button. Which is exactly what Saber Alter needs there. Conditioning her opponent to just sit there. Actually, okay. with how uh, with how the frame advantage works on uh, her two two one four B and how slow mm -hmm. Zero Lancer's buttons are, she might be able to beat a button with her uh, throw. I'd have to check again because I don't remember how minus it is. Okay. Um, but that's something definitely that he has to be aware of because that if if that's the case, she could do a no cancel read. And this MKL is on match point. Yeah, really, really threatening here. Okay, RG's instead of supers. Yeah, the big thing is Sparrow's just not finding the damage he needs. Like, yeah, I agree that, that. that like these combos are not sufficient if he wants to be able to ooh, take out MKL. Because MKL has to win like neutral twice. And we're seeing four or five neutral wins with these combos for uh, Sparrow. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. And also, like, as we said, Saber Alter just has a ton of health, too. Uh, okay, get the hard knockdown. What's the mix-up? Okay. You know what? Wait, wake up, activate, heal a bit, uh, and yeah, get access to some pressure. Unfortunately, goes in. Crazy invincibility. And just Ooh, like, there's the crazy counter. parry frames. But not the fan. Some reason noticing that you notice that uh, Sparrow's been um, using this meter for wake up activates a lot, and not really having it for the damage or the combos or the RGs. And yeah, Sparrow. it's it's different, but I, I kind of get it. He just like doesn't want to get mixed up. That Saber Alter JC is yeah. such a threatening side mix up tool. And there we go, taking our first game for Sparrow. Uh, he does have to c get a 3-0 comeback if he wants to take it. Yeah, honestly, if I'm okay, go on. Well, I was just gonna say, and in this game, that's a lot harder because stages matter. So this, the counter picks from uh, Mr. MKL could really affect things. Right, that's what I'm about to say. Honestly, my MKL, I'm like, what stage do I pick? Because pick rooftop. But I was like, you already went to a small stage. Like, it, like he seems like he was comfortable in it. Um, Sparrow was. So that's what you want to say, bro. We went to a moderate stage, like moderate size. Yeah, honestly, one of the least seen stages because it is so moderate. Yeah, uh, I like it. You know me, this is my stage, I just though. I love is... it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want... Okay. Okay, yeah, this is what Sparrow you know what? wants. This, this is what Sparrow needed, and I actually super support him just running. Yep. Like, abuse the fact that Saber Alter is, ooh, is bad, but then he runs in. That's what my issue is. I feel like he's giving uh, MKL the openings he needs. Okay, now just uh, yeah, going in though. All right, I'm about to say, just run. On uh, on Oki, I think it's fine because like the that's true. Advantage is skewed in his favor. Oh, and that's a big counter hit actually. Uh, we'll be able to get it. Nice, and that'll kill then. Yep, that's the right height. And get the ball. All right, you love it. That's a very very good round for him. Sparrow can definitely definitely take this back. Oh, although. Not with the round start parry like that. That's a that's a risky play. And looks like he was trying to hit a button out. Oh my! What? It went through. The, it went through that, that was canceled. a weird interaction yeah, there. That yeah. was crazy. Oh. Interesting that. Reaction. Interesting that MKL doesn't go for a fireball pressure reset. Mm -hmm. I, I know, say, like, if we're not seeing a lot of push block from Sparrow, that is one of the best ways to reset the pressure situation. Yeah, you can't push block projectiles anyway, so. No, but uh, well, I'm saying he, he'd have beforehand. to push block beforehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get what you're saying, yeah. Ooh, oh, that's, 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 that's a big good. one. Unless he breaks with the burst. Oh, he wants no, to he save doesn't, it? Doesn't have an, doesn't, well, he doesn't have enough. It's uh, Saber Alter has. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Meter. I'm looking at the long meter. Okay. There's so a burst on the table for both. Okay, I should have burst, but can't do it now. Can't do it now. Go to no. get hit. No, that yeah, was a that bad time. You. you know what? Ultimately, 
the combo, I was gonna say, the combo dif difference would not be huge for damage. Oh, we needed to confirm that counter hit that could have been oh, the uh, have been... game ending. That's hard to find, Jadlin. We might see a 646 going for the uh, projectile oh destruction. My God. No, no need. That that round was in in Miss MKL's hands too, but just a bad yeah. burst, and Sparrow turns it around. Yeah, it it really really changed the whole situation. Losing two full bars of meter, it's hard 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 to make up. Um, but now final final stage pick. I wonder if he'll go back to rooftop or if he'll switch up his uh, mentality a bit. I think stairs honestly. He's looking at it. He's thinking about it. We're bouncing around. Okay. All yeah, right. Another a, small stage. Yeah. yeah. Stairs is my preferred small stage, but I I definitely this is definitely not a bad one. I find it hard a bit to uh, determine how far you are from the walls in this stage. So I can sometimes mess up my uh, my uh, wall carry combos. The media okay. super. Oh, oh you continue? Oh. oh no! I really want to see more six four six A from uh, from Sparrow. Use the guard point and oh, use the no projectile grab. destruction. There's the grab. This combo though. Six. Uh, what was that? Six C gets gets Mr. MKL. Another six C. Sparrow loves the, that move. Yeah. Nope. Finish that. You, yeah. This uh this should be the round ender uh, as long as he doesn't drop it. We'll yeah. get the meter as well, because he should activate to finish it. Yeah, definitely going to activate to finish it. Uh, oh, no, no, no need. Doesn't even okay. need to. I think no, he what if just to kill the bar, but he's going I, to uh, after that. I think it was worth it to to do it, but he chose not to. It's fine. He'll get it now anyways. It's worked out in his favor. Oh, no, that's... Okay, I was going to say. It was too low to actually combo, but MKL not fast enough on the mash. Uh, this uh, is unfortunately a mash to get out of combo game, not a hold. Ooh. Didn't get punished for that throw though. Oh my goodness. Throw with right now. Alright, Sparrow's doing right. Sparrow's doing his best to come back from this. It was down for a, a, a an 03 deficit or an 02 deficit. And really, really putting in the work. Yeah, it's a thing. I know yeah. yeah. First thing, he hasn't been uh no, 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 no. close to it. Just one more opportunity for Sparrow. And yeah, that's over it. the dive. That was off 6 wasn't it? Yeah, that was off 6 Yeah, you really need to know the timing to uh, fuzzy guard that if you want to get out of it. Uh, but, unfortunately, it doesn't work out, and Sparrow will take it. So I'm going to immediately hop into the next one, because uh, Rakir's already at the ready. Um, and that'll be good. Sounds good. All right, let me update the uh, scores here. Uh, Doctor Zero saying surprised not seeing Kure, Lancer, and Guild players. I mean, I play all three of those characters, but I am not in. I didn't enter. Yeah, how come you're not playing today? <laughs> uh, I just wasn't. I just didn't feel like it. Hey man, huh? maybe, maybe it could be. I just didn't feel like it. But hey, I could be like the secret boss of Kuma, or whatever people want to see. But, you know, <laughs> I could be. You know, I could. I could just play the person that wins. Hey. I won't well, get you it. Gotta I, I won't get you gotta talk to them. You gotta talk to them. It's yeah. like, yo, I'm the secret boss. Fight me. Yeah. <laughs> Press start. You just want to do an exhibition. <laughs> uh, so we got this versus Vakir, I believe. Oh, that's the next matchup? Yeah. Casta versus Archer. It's a it's a weird matchup, in my opinion. Yeah, how does it usually go? Uh, it's just anno What annoys me is uh once she, once Caster has her like you know her teleport set up, set up, it's like yeah, and then she has the skeletons that has their own her box. I'm like, what the heck? Okay, um, let's see. 
So basically what uh, Riker want, needs to do against this is keep his distance, right? With um, his, yep. his magic and skeletons. And once he gets the knockdown, teleport and just do the freaking setup, the thunder setup and all that. Right, right. So there's, like I say, against Caster, you generally want to have meter to mm. activate, the OTG activate. Yeah, yeah. To get Caster off you for that mix up. The Force Caster did a teleport mix, which I feel is a lot more blockable than her having basically a four away, which is like the jump over mix up, the yeah. over the instant overhead, the low, and the teleport, you know, which is that's a lot harder to block. So if she if you force her to not be close to you when she's setting up the lightning and doing and doing the mix up, yeah, it's a little easier to block. So there's a specific timing too, like when you wake up before she yep. throws that thunder on you, like you can just backdash. But that has to be like a really specific timing. Like a little bit too early, you you won't be able to backdash. A little bit too late, you get hit. So yeah, the problem with backdashing is she could cross up your input. So yeah, I'm uh, back. All right, good stuff, Sparrow. I uh, just had to remember how to play the game for a bit there. Not gonna lie though, I'm actually kind of surprised at myself. I haven't really been dropping any of the. Uh, the TK air jump 236Cs. And I'm happy about I that. I noticed. I noticed you've been hitting a lot of those. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> it is ironic good. that Kawaii of all people is the one that brought that up, but it's it. Oh, we have the really? first. Really? Uh, I brought that I brought that up with him. And no, like in if that's it makes sense that's where he got it from now that I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got it, yeah, he got it from me. But like, it's not a, it it, but like it's not a bad idea. It's a solid it's 50 really good. Because it's better than 6C, because people talk about 6C into it, I'm like... 6C is better if you do it into uh, jump 2 through 6B, so you actually get some plus frames. But uh, ignoring ignoring his answer, because that was last game, here we see uh, a lot of aggression from Diz right now. And Rakir just is not dealing with it, and misinput? <laughs> or intentional chant BM. Don't know yet, but uh... Ooh, ooh I'm getting caught by that. Yeah, Maybe he side expected side. a, uh, yeah, I think it was expecting the wrong side. Here we go, okay, this is a mix. Archer does not have a bar to, yeah. He gets, uh, hit by the jump over, jump back. I'm gonna see another mix. More mix. The same side, but he blocks it this time. Oh, he gets hit by two of the Thunderbolts in the air. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of unfortunate for Archer actually because he, him trying to zone Caster. I feel Caster wins the zoning war because oh, of, Caster definitely does. of the of the sigil on the ground. Oh, and this should kill. Whipping, the bane of any Archer. I know. I know. Nick, this fight happen to you a lot. The hit with if with whipping on Crouchers. Oh, gets him with Second a two uh, A right on the uh, at the start though. Drops the combo unfortunately, but gets another pick up the counter hit. I wonder what uh, Rakir was pressing there. And we're looking like the exact same as last round so far, but uh, will Rakir be able to turn it around like before? Oh, gets hit by another overhead. Another drop. Uh, drop and Rakir getting combo. Just outside of a meter for Diz. Yeah, oh, not gonna have any. Diz was throwing the swords there for some reason. If yeah, Pi tried to do like a reversal and got crossed oh. up. Just wake yeah, up, Pi. Hit. Hit. <laughs> Respect, it worked. Although I do cast her with a lot of meter right now, though. And all of it's gonna be going away for that burst now, unfortunately. And a counter hit hem splitter. Yeah, yeah, just from down, down. He's been getting a lot of those. <laughs> Oop, nice uh, jump A for a poke, but doesn't actually get anything off of it since it wasn't a counter hit. Oh, <laughs> bow mode shenanigans. And it whips. I didn't, honestly, I'm pretty sure we'll bring it up. The worst uh, part about right now is the fact that he is stuck in bow mode. There. Yeah, yeah, I know. He did that guard cancel to try to get out. Still got hit, but... He at least got the swap it. back in the sword. Oh, missed it. Unfortunate drop by Rakir. But shoots him out of the air. Nice skeleton. The frame trap for Rakir. Lightning! Oh, okay. Missed, missed time did a little bit. Yeah, way too telegraphed with that one. That's oh. a mess up. Or is it? Nah, it, it, it is. It is. Nah, that doesn't mess up. He, he continued the combo though. That's not. I don't know. 
don't know. <laughs> You're like, or is it? I know because he continued it. Oh, and that's he it. whiffs a grab and gets, gets um, grabbed himself. Unfortunate. Like I remember Nick telling me, he's like, man, anytime you see a see a chant like that, it's it's a it's a mistake. <laughs> nah, it's, it's only a mistake if you're not that much better than them. Every now and then you just gotta be him. It's a fun in it, right? Yeah, <laughs> you said that was a fun into it. Still yeah. very unfortunate whiff on that uh, throw at the end there. Yeah. Kind of cost him around that one. What is it? One up? Oh, uh, yep. Rick here got the. Uh, he sure got the win game. with a throw himself. Yeah, it's just like a long matchup, you know, like like it's a yeah. long moving, uh, it's a slow moving matchup, I should say. Yeah, not a very fast paced matchup for this one. Uh, methodical, that's the word. Yeah, sounds better. Unfortunately, dropping the combo, gonna get punished for it. Yeah, that's Rokey. the setup. Right? That's 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 okay, that was a good block. He successfully blocks, does not need to activate out of that one. I know, yeah, I don't think Dave really wants to. I don't blame him. Cash, Rakir does have three bars of meter. Yeah. He really needs to force out a burst of some sort. A Ooh. good counter, though. This is going to give you a combo. Oh, yes, didn't cancel it out. And there's the burst. And Diz with a bit of a life deficit, but does have a lot Ooh. of Yeah, that oh. skeleton. Did he hit the skeleton? Yep. Okay. Well, he he hit her before the skeleton came out. The skeleton came out and then counter hit him. Oh, is he Ooh, but we got it? a uh, a grail activation. Oh no, he did. He couldn't do it. It's a shame. It's Archer. Oh, teleports Ooh. behind and throws. Okay. Teleport to be hunting. Yeah, it's not coming out. It's and here's the mix-up. And he guesses it wrong. To be fair, I got hit by that too. I have no yeah. idea what side that hit on. And it's just See, that's slowly that's the main out. of Archer zoning right there. Like, like just that T2B from the sigil from Caster. It blows it up. And now Rakira getting a good pressure opportunity, mix up opportunity. Mistimes it, I think, because it looks like a bolt or two whiff there. I yeah, guess a throw, though. A missed combo. Oh, Immediate and, uh, burst. Might have just been a misinput there. I'm not sure. Yeah. Activates but gets clipped, and now he's gonna lose that whole activate turn. Oh man. Yeah, I missed a lot of fastballs, it doesn't matter. Get the counter hit Elm Splitter. No, that's nope. not gonna unscale. Yeah, not gonna unscale, still hard still, down, though. Still damage, Runs. and he's gonna get a fronting. He's gonna get a setup. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it came back. Game back. <laughs> that's always like, I always See, hope my breath on maybe later. What did I tell oh, you, Koma? It's a buff. Once I saw him sidestep, I was like, yeah, it's coming back. If you sidestep, it's 100% coming back. <laughs> you gotta stay on the same action. Oh, mistimes it, but uh, this kind of just lets him recharge another Thunder. Oh, jumps over, but doesn't get much of a uh, punish. Okay. Doesn't mean you try to teleport. That would have been Telegraph mix up anyway. And that Maybe grabs him on the other side. I'm actually surprised that Sigil hit him. That's a lot of chip damage with that to, laser. I want to see Diz play more aggressive in this matchup because you already see the zoning isn't working. Like, it's just not going to work against Caster. He's just losing so much help trying to zone as Rakir takes it 2 0 yeah. right now. And we're going the zoning traits just are not going in his favor. Yeah, so like, just switch to sword mode, put your head down, and go in there. I mean, you still got to get in, I get it, but like, he, that should be his game plan and not like, oh, I'm going to try to zone or whatever because he's losing too much life. Like, I could definitely understand if uh, he gets, like, a good, like, full bar of life lead, and then, yeah, sure, let's try zoning, but he just hasn't gotten to that point of advantage yet where he can realistically just try zoning for the win. Get some nice counter hit to start off, though. This is going to be some solid damage, but it drops. Yeah, that's all good. Gets a throw. Yeah, this is what I like to see. Aggressive this. Still drops it, but, uh, still has some good... Damage on the table. Got okay, a great yeah. health. Held, held onto the meter too. Has activate available if he needs to use it. Probably oh, trying to block a few. Probably blocks it. Doesn't even need to activate out. Yeah. But unfortunately, gets clipped and it's gonna burst. Oh, it and it hits the skelly. It's Damn skelly. Got, got hit on the frame trap. Now no meter to get out of this mix up and it's gonna be brutal. Oh, but he uh, missed times it again. I think because that was a very easy block. Okay. Oh, Woo. Helmbreakers. All right, this. 
jumped over the big ball and just Helmbreaker on Helm top of Casper's head. Yeah. Punish is the attempt to punish. Rakir not uh, punishing that fast enough. Like I said, you're right. It is now just showing a lot more aggression and it's working yeah, out. Yeah, it hasn't switched the uh, bow mode yet on oh. for pressure. That's it. And that's in combo. Good. His bow mode pressure has actually been pretty solid, of course, with those uh, stance cancels. Oh, and blocks the mix-up, but gets that caught on does. the toes. Yeah, Rakira knows he's not even going to activate. So just doing, yeah, just doing his best mix-up. But this has actually been really good at blocking. Oh, this is very good at blocking that. I think he's blocked, like, just about every single attempt so far within the past few times. Oh. Interesting little interaction. Second sword still hit, uh, Rakira there. Like, RGs keeps himself safe. Nope, gets a counter hit. Oh, up that enough. Fine though, still has caster in, at the nice wall. Low. That's uh, look, that's enough. work. That worked, oh, that worked. And that's one scale for a good amount of damage. Hunting. Yeah, another setup. Is that gonna work? Oh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, that was a work. super defeat hunting. I like these options that uh, Rakira's been using against hunting. Oh, and uh, doesn't block that one. Wasn't even a mix up attempt there. No meter straight. Break. Oh, and hits him with the sword. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be one two from now. Yeah, you see you see the you see the change. Went to a small stage, didn't wasn't like alright, now you're gonna focus on zoning. Switch the sword or stayed in sword and just went in. But now uh I like this change. Here with the stage choice, gonna go you, to his uh yeah. good old favorite. Yeah, you know now it's gonna be a lot harder for this to get in. But still going to have to, I still want to see this stick to the game, same uh, game plan. Oh, and it's a counter hit, Helm Splitter. Unfortunately, drops Kira that combo, hit. so now Rakira's going to get his own turn back. Going to run a mix up. Right, this burst out. I would like to see him just take the mix and, or, and uh, yeah. you know, save the mark. Sure Passer yeah. wasn't threatening a lot of damage. You're not sure if I agreed with that burst there, and now he's in that mix up and no meter whatsoever. Oh, and just pushes him to full screen. Yeah, I think that was rough. But still works. Oh, gets clipped a little bit. Just avoids that sigil. I yeah, agree, stay, stay safe, but uh. Now, this is good for this, because now uh, Rakir used all his meter and wasn't getting any health back since it was a cancel activate. Oh, super jumps, but I think he does did it a bit too early there. Gets hit by the uh, projectile. And runs right into it. Runs <laughs> right into it again. But sticks up with that aggression. Gets the uh, low. I missed it, though. Just missing it. A lot, a lot of these confirmed. Getting the hits. Though. Going to try to helm split it. No, it just, just oh, does the overhead. Good overhead. Gets the uh, hit. Anti oh, I missed oh, it. That super. Down. That's going to kill. Runting. Oh, he's going to hunt through, go. right through that super. And he gets hit by the other projectiles. That's a shame. He really didn't yeah, have the help of that trade. Oh, and Rakir just uh, <laughs> throwing some hitboxes out there. He's getting punished for it. Oh, gets the knockdown. Good throw break by Rakir, but gets hit by another Helm Splitter. Oh, you getting the getting that? Another overhead. I think it's this one. Oh, doesn't break that throw. Now he's going to get some uh, Oki. Uh, missed the, uh, the air sigil. Oh, interesting. Teleporting his face. It's a hit. There's the air sigil. Going to get some lightning Oki. Oh. And yeah. I do not know what side that hit on. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, think. activates for the falling jump A. Going to get the combo. But, uh, you know, super that's the, the super. Gonna do the exact same thing again, but uh, Rakir not running into it this time. Oh, Helm Splitter. the Helm Splitter from downtown. <laughs> gonna take the round, Diz. Look at Hanging this meter. On my thread. Look at his meter. Ooh, that is a lot of meter. That is really good. Uh, he's gonna use it immediately. Doesn't want to take that damage. Let uh, Rakir have his turn. Honestly, I do agree with that first there, though. Yeah, yeah I do sure too. He's building, a, he's building a, uh, enough meter now, so it's good. Drops and activate. All right. Oh, the double hits. Hits the skeleton and her. Good stuff. 
I'm gonna just roll with that being intentional. Overhead, RG use it to get a combo. Rakir really needs to start blocking those. Cause uh, this is gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, oh, drops it unfortunately. Doesn't hunting either. Should have just done it once. Eight, really? That would have worked. Six. Yeah. I think he no. wanted to kill though. I don't think that would have killed. Nick. Yeah. So he wanted to try to make sure he gets uh, guaranteed the kill. Does getting out there for a little free? Definitely. Uh, Ooh, that would have been. Definitely oh, should have. Double health splitter. Good stop. I definitely think Rakir should have kept the pressure on a bit more there with him being stuck in bow mode. He kind of just got to yeah. double backdash out of there. That's but true. good stuff that's from this. It's going to be the last game now. Yeah, that's true though. If you catch if you catch Archer in bow mode, you want to just keep the pressure on because Archer just can't RG and also cannot even throw. So He can still throw a break though, right? He can still throw a break, but All he right. can't throw. All right, gets another counter hit ump sweater. He is really good at getting those things. Goes for a reset with the swords and it's gonna get him yeah, opening up the skin. Wait, we're back to this stage? Uh, yeah. We're, I guess Rakir picked Rekir, it? Yeah, Rakir picked it, because Okay, okay, just I guess that's fine, then. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, gets hit by the ice. Cause I was like, there's one on this stage, but hey, Rakir can pick it still. Oh, uh, yes, Rakir wants to see if he can uh, swap anything up this time, but uh, Diz still just mashing out. Oh, oh, gets hit by the lightning. Okay, put the full screen. Oh, gets hit by the sigil. Yeah, see, immediately Here. starts to do a zoning game plan and take some damage. He had the life lead, but you, but still, like I said, oh, it's got over relentless. I don't know if Rakir's gonna get enough major burst. This is probably dead. Nah, he dead. I tell you that Helm Sweater, when a super jump, he just flies through the air. Yeah, he does. <laughs> but they're not really having an answer to it right now. I mean, does Caster actually have an answer to that? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, a lot of characters just need to move away, man. Like, she could try to teleport away or side sidestep, back dash, whatever. That's fair. You, you just can't. Like, it's hard to anti air. So, well, I'm going to try to argue, but. I, I know a character who doesn't have many issues with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ooh. Good confirm though, blue beat, but uh, gonna get some damage. Ooh, just uh, runs right into it. Gets hit by another seal. Right, here we go. And here's the mix up. Gets hit by. Yeah, I'm the west side. Down, bro. I think that was left. Helmbreaker. But uh, gonna hit Helmbreaker again. Looking like Dante with all these helm breakers, man. <laughs> like man, and Virgil. Not just the Virgil. Well, he does have some Dante colors on. More, more like Virgil is the archer of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, you're right about that. He's yeah. gonna throw out a front thing. Oh, nice. And it comes back. Gonna get some pressure. Overhead. It only came back. No RG, unfortunately, but. Sets up okay, yep. Nice. Oh, and that's gonna be it for Diz. Okay. Solid Three, reverse. Two. We've been saying that a lot. Like, we saw that with your set, too, uh, Sparrow. You know, lost the first two games, came back, and just ran it back. Reverse sweep. You know, the first two games are the download. Yeah, I do like the adjustments from this. Like I said, just was trying to zone the first two games, and yeah, it just wasn't yeah. working. Like, I was going to win game. that zoning war, yeah. so just stayed sword mode, and it, it just solidifies what I say about bow mode. Sucks. Bow mode ass, yeah. <laughs> <It's> ass. <laughs> Definitely uh, good on Diz to really acknowledge that it just wasn't working. Yeah. It's only asking certain matchups, but yeah, a lot of matchups actually, but there are some matchups that's good. And just sort of, I don't want people, I don't want to get flamed out here. Well, now we just have to see uh, if either we're doing winners or losers. Next. Uh, we're going to do winners first. All right, so then we're going to be seeing Titanium and level 5. I uh, yeah. am a little biased. Just a little bit biased on who's gonna on who I want to win this one. Really? Uh, I, mean, I think Titanium has the upper hand here. I I personally agree too. Shiro does not actually have too many ways to out laser his arm moves. I think it's pretty well even ma evenly matched, you know? It is, but I do still think it's in Laser at favor, because the effective range that Shiro really wants to be in, Laser can kind of just, you know, 5C. And she kind of just wins if Shiro did literally anything. 
Shiro JCs, you just 5C. Yeah, 5C would beat that. Wish I had that 5C. Very good button. It's really like her best button that she has. Although Shiro has an actual DP, but uh. Yeah, you're talking about like the 63A. It's not invincible on startup, but it does have invincibility on it. I think you played him and you just stuffed it one time. So. Possibly? I'm not really too focused on his DP when I'm fighting him. You're right, right. right. <laughs> one of these days I'll figure a way to actually deal with JC, but until then. Nah, I was saying, man, whoever wins, uh, do I have to be the final boss doing exhibition, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, he's just, talking about himself. Spam. Just for the street, just for no, the street. No, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it depends on uh, who you want to bring out. <laughs> Probably his uh, old pal, uh, Kyrie. Kyrie, yeah. All right. So, Shio versus Laser. Do, I am curious what the first stage will be, though. Because, again, both of them have a pretty similar effective range. I'm not entirely sure which character wants what kind of stage. Although, I but guess Shira this one provides jump. both worlds. Okay. I mean, Shiro's done a lot better. What am I talking about? Yeah. Catches him jumping. But depending on the access you're on, this stage could be is more for aggressive characters and aggressive players. And level 5 showing that right now. Russian titanium down. Ooh, oh, nice RC. This RC's the 5C. There's mainly always going to be a gap. So that was a good reaction from level 5. Nice combo, dude. Don't get unscaled. Blue beat yep. it, but it's all good. Oh, oh missed whips it, unfortunately. That's going to kill. And it's going to get counter hit. Oh, this might be a combat. Oh, doesn't drop it so far. Uh, drops it from the last hit, unfortunately, really? too far. Puts on the pressure. Right, Ooh, that was... Oh, nice RG by uh, Titanium, but doesn't look like he was actually ready to confirm off of that. I think you do an easy combo for sure. Yeah, yep. get a little gotta... bit of kill on the way out. He's got to do that. He wants to end the round. All right, Ryzen's asking, asking does, so does the stage play a bigger role Ooh. than the character in the matchup? No, um... but stage is still really important. Yeah, I'll have to agree with that, because like, you can still have matchups that are just awful by themselves, and even if a stage helps alleviate it, a bad matchup is still just a bad matchup. Right, exactly. I can't imagine any matchup where it's like, it's going to change depending on the stage you're on, like it'll flop, you know, like it'll be 6 plus I think there's a few that are like that, because like, laser yeah, against like a zoner, like archer or caster, on a small stage, I, I honestly do think laser has a bit of an advantage there, but then you bring it to temple and uh oh and he's gonna punish with the super uh what an unfortunate whiff uh gonna get a perfect there as well yeah then you have like wacky stage kind of picks like forest against uh saber you know well not whack but like forest against more specialized kind of picks, like forest against saber and like rider and things like that to stop their corner combos but all right uh we're gonna be going to a uh, completely small stage here with titanium and he reflect guards it again not going to be able to get a combo off this one, though, but good damage nonetheless. Okay, just rushing down. Ooh, gets a knee. Even tells you it was coming. Knee! <laughs> Not enough to RG it, but uh, backdashes through anything. Alright, he missed that. But oh. Tateo blocked it! <laughs> That's going to kill. Oh yeah, okay, okay. that's super fun. The, uh, so, the unblockable. The un quote unquote unblockable, it takes a long time to do, but... So if you block it, it does that cinematic animation, but if you get hit by it, it just does 600 damage or so like that, something like that, and it's punishable on hit. Yeah, you might as well just get hit by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you don't have time to sidestep, you might as well just get hit by it. Same thing with uh, Archer too, like the super. Yeah. There's that super again. See, the thing just got hit. I do think, okay, Little Light is still, um, still at advantage. I thought it was unsafe. So level five is just a cyborg, right? Because that man's reacting to actual startup and he is just insane. Yeah, that, that, that is pretty crazy. You talk about with like RGs and stuff? Yeah, he just RG'd the uh, spin, like on startup. Yeah, quick 2-0 from uh, level five. 
around. So. See if uh, our team is going to switch it up or not. Going to try to run it back with the laser. It. No, searching to the rider. Okay, he's, he's kind of picking. I, you don't see Titanium kind of pick that often. This tournament, he's been doing it, but generally he like, just sticks with one character, you know. But I think he wants. I think I, I think he wants the, the prize pot, obviously. So he's kind of. Yeah. He's I mean, like, money. I was like, I'm prepared to switch to a rider. <laughs> right. Oh, same side mix up. Oh, gets hit by the low and gets hit by another low again. Yeah, and honestly, Tatan hasn't been playing a lot of his Rider lately, so a lot of people aren't really used to Rider anymore. Yeah. Well, for me, it just feels like yesterday. Yeah. Because <laughs> I haven't been playing in a while, too. Running through level 5 right now. Oh, mm. RG's the over. Reacting to that, right? Oh, right good. By Crazy, level yeah. 5, his reactions are on point. No matter how long there's a gap between tournaments, this man has just never dropped. Yeah, I mean, in his defense, that is that is like a 30 frame most <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true. You you think it's like 15 frames with how many times you can see somebody. It's like he's expecting it. Yeah, he, he's anticipating it and then he's gonna react to it. Oh, backdashes oh, and gets caught by. Get, oh, he got caught. Yeah, the backdash, backdash got caught. He backdashed a bit too early there. Yeah. Match point for level five champ. Uh, no meter to drain, so I should have ended it immediately there. Uh, the and then drop the combo, going to corner carry. Yep. Oh, nice RG. RG from Titan. But didn't finish the plate. Now, he gets another combo, going to get some nice corner carry. Oh. There. Oh, oh, RG, oh, that was dive RG yeah. reaction. In, he is in the air, so no actual confirm off of that, but still. Gonna force a uh, activate from Titanium. People, I mean, that's like what a five frame window to RG. It's harder. Oh, it, it, it's why definitely you harder. Match than you that light kick. While your opponent's in the air. <laughs> oh, nice chain though. Oh, gets the uh, throw. throw. And this should kill. No, it doesn't. Oh, barely. Go for the super. There's no chip kills in this game. I know, but I thought you would go for the super after that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just, let, I just let him stream now. Yeah, level 5. As you saw, I just tried to RG something. Didn't expect to throw there. Tried to RG. Ooh, die now, it. might have been intentional there on Titanium. Nah, level 5 had to die. He was just short. He, he, wasn't, he didn't look at the uh, space. But the nice like... combo here. A little bit of meter kill. Probably baiting out the 63C from Ryder. We all know that move is ass, though. So. Yeah, it's uh, not a DP. Oh, nice. Oh, counter hits oh, what a, what what a, a, a counter combo there. Yeah. Yeah, what counter hit? Throws him. Uh, I think it was the boot. Oh, okay. Oh, another RG. Like, oh. Man, this should kill. Oh, oh drops it. Oh, mash that light kick. Ah, uh, level 5. Enough meter to burst now. Oh, the air coming out now? I think Titanium, oh, okay. I thought, okay, I thought Titanium was going to try to super them. He don't got the super button, though. Nope, doesn't have. Alright, and now we run the mix-up. Same side mix-up. Uh -oh. Might not be uh, enough yeah. to kill, so that I mean, don't think it's going to burst. Chen has to burst out. Not bursting, though. Why is he not bursting? That's why. He said that's why. Oh, oh he sure. bursted and too he late. He tried to activate. He tried to activate. He tried oh, to. getting his life back. That's a run up activate. Oh, oh, nice whip punish. And he supers. The but he pressed the button. Okay, actually I'm processing that. So uh what level five did good stuff from level five taking that, but what level five did was like he had three meters, right? So he was like, Okay, I know you're not gonna finish your plate. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wake up activate and Shiro's level three activate ability, three hundred meter activate ability is more health gain. So but he did it, timed it when the chain hit, and he got the burst. So that's what happened. All right, but all right good stuff on level five. So now it's down to Lucas. That was winner's finals, so, folks. Yeah. Yep. So now Lugis it's going to be Diz and Sparrow. Yeah. All right. Has been a while since I fought Diz's Archer. Yep, good luck. 
All right, I'll move down. Pointers, uh, yeah, just get on in his face. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say Archer struggles with that? Yeah, because his uh, reversals are pretty bad, you know. Yeah. The only decent reversal is his uh, is his what it calls uh, six two three B and C. But other than that, yeah, just block it. Yeah, block it. I mean, it, it could be thrown. Uh, low profile, you know. And it doesn't even have armor all the way through. So there are yeah. some moves that can just, if you do like certain strings, you can option select, option select it and just hit them out of it, you know. For sure, yeah. Yeah, I always like this matchup though. I mean, I feel Bomo is going to come into play a little bit, but I don't think this should stay in there too often. It's mm -hmm. it's just unfortunate with Bomo because um, it, you know, as we say, like the defense that he has available in Bomo is garbage. Like he just can't he can't RG, he can't throw. So it's like if you, and his normals are slow, right? He has two yeah. A and stuff, but it doesn't lead in anything. So it's like. If he gets caught in bow mode, he's done. Like, like I know Diz has said it before. Uh, like, it could just be a round killer sometimes if somebody catches you in bow mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He has the guard cancel, which some people would say is the best guard cancel in the game. I don't think it's all that. I think it's kind of bad. But Who? Uh, zero uh, launchers? No, archers. Oh, archers, huh? His bow mode guard cancel, where he shoots the arrow up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I honestly think it's it's mediocre. Um, yeah, I never use it. Actually. Yeah, yeah, it's he could combo off it, but it's like they can they can do things to like they can R, they can't RG the arrow, but they can RG their string and react mm -hmm. to it, react to the guard cancel, and like yeah. throw Archer out of it or hit him out of it, like do a move that will um, counter hit crush him, you know, do the mm -hmm. stagger, and then they would just be able to just like take the arrow hit and then com and then continue to combo after. There's things you can do, so it's like. Yeah, the move, it's, it's not that great. The opponent knows how to deal with it. Yeah. Like, if that's your only reversal option, then, man, that's, you don't want to rely on that. <laughs> it's not even, you know, reversal. It's just defensive option. Oh, Titanium's back. Hello. Damn. Uh, damn. Damn is right. Damn is <laughs> using uh, yeah. all my greater than 20 frame startup buttons as options. Yes. Um, I think I'm going to have to focus rider the rest of the event which is awkward because mm -hmm. i've played her so much less in the last six months than i have laser it um so everything feels awkward still yeah understandable i can tell uh, oh, <laughs> we're going in i'm not trying to kill you I just no it. i mean it's like, like, it's, the way, it's, like it's, it's the way it is but i gotta i think I've, that's got to be the way if i want to if i want to take this tournament right all right so going in this is losing semis Still three out of five though. Diz versus Sparrow. So this matchup, I was speaking a little bit on it. Uh, Bomo will, can come into play a little bit, but I still don't think this should be in Bomo too often. Just because, as we said, if Archer gets caught in it, it, it could be rough for him. Yeah. It and also on, this stage, I, also on this stage, I can't see him doing too much his own. So the aggressive play style has been working a lot for Diz. I think he should just stick with it. Okay, and two. Did he get the two of them? And uh, I don't like know, did that reach? Did. Oh. Uh, did it reach? It did, just didn't unscale? I think it didn't unscale. I think the, the way it, uh, the hits hit before it uh, needed to. Yeah, still got a hit after though, and took the round. Alright, yeah, Sparrow doesn't want to do the super jet yet. Um, no, yeah, because he wants to let Archer build some meter to make more right. use of it. Oh, although... The opposite impact happened. Mistimed the uh, cancel. I think he has to do a two, three, six, A, B before he does the super in that scenario. Yeah, he already activated though. So. He was already activated. Oh, okay, you're trying to trick this there. Just doing two, two, three, six, A, two, three, six, B, and not finishing the record. And that's the thing about uh, Zero Lance, you're seeing it here, he doesn't have to commit. Like, he, no. just, he, yeah. he just backdashes away, and then he, or, or he does his command backdash, and he just makes you whiff, and then that's when he goes in. 
Nice recognition from Diz just uh, punishing the dive kick, but yeah, you're exactly right. It's so, so hard to, um, yeah. to actually so force him to commit to anything. And, and, and what are you going to do? You push block him and then he's across the entire screen and <laughs> nobody's... That's not good for anyone but Zero Lancer, so it's like... Yeah, he's definitely one of the safest characters in the game when doing pressure. And all the meter in the world, I mean, he... Yeah. Uh, he might... Any touch, and he'll drain everything that Archer has. And, oh, okay, apparently not even any touch. Yeah, nice, that was a nice, uh... Activate. Activate, yeah, definitely worth it. Uh, th uh, for those of you watching that aren't aware, Activate can be used to cancel your move to block after their Super Flash. Um, so if your opponent has enough meter to do a Super themselves, generally it's not safe to toss out Supers in uh, neutral or pressure. Um, Unless it's a whiff punish. Then... Yes. Yeah. It's just, it's, you're, you're very limited in how you can use it. And there we go, Diz going yeah. up. The Helm Splitter doing work in this batch. The up. Helm Splitter, you know, <laughs> is... Welcome to Archer Neutral, baby. Time to Helm Split. <laughs> that move is so good, man. His air buttons, honestly, his JA and his JC and sword mode are just two great... Some of the best uh, air buttons in the game. They super, super are. And th thank you, thank you, audience, for giving me support. Don't worry, I'm coming back in grands. Uh, you're going to see a whole lot more leg and a whole lot Wait, less what did they say? what they say? And more oh, chains. They said you'll uh, you'll get them next time, and I'm like, yeah, I, I'm gonna. Don't worry. Oh, nice backdash on Sparrow's part, avoiding that uh, six two three C. It loves his uh, backdash on wake up. It's something that uh, I mean, it's, it's not a bad tool in any way, but it's something that I I hope that uh, Sparrow recognizes because with his mm -hmm. range, he can definitely cover backdash. Uh, yeah, he just might needs actually to delay it a bit. If he's willing to RC, he might be able to use his, um, he can empty, he can cancel on whiff a lot of yeah. his specials. So he might be able to use that to punish Archer. Uh, this is a big, big combo. Uh, won't get enough though to uh, get the kill. Going in, it's almost looking like round one, exact, uh, almost exactly a bar of meter each. Yeah, and I, I do like the stage choice from Sparrow. Um, yeah, it's the, interesting to see. Yeah, he's always aggressive that first round, but just wants to have the option to run if he needs. To. And a good recognition from both players. If you get an air counter hit, you have a year and a half to yeah. combo. Do not let them just uh, fall to the ground and yep. wake up. Like they will be bouncing on the ground, comboable for quite a while. If you get a single hit air counter hit. Okay, mix up. Nah, nah, this, this, okay. Good wake up from Diz. Then get the throw. Despite having one of the uh, the Honey. less desirable throws, uh, Archer, uh, uh, Diz definitely likes to make proper use of it. He does not let his nope. mix up the. Uh, there it is. It didn't come back. He did oh, the glitch. It came, at the, it came at the end there. <laughs> did it? Yeah. No, it, it, was, it did came from yeah, above. It came, it came from yeah. above and it like clipped his toes. Did it hit him? Yeah. Yeah, I hit him. It hit him after Archer had hit him already. So it wasn't the end of the world, but... No. Okay, it came late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess because he sidestepped. Like I said, if he sidestepped, sometimes it will, like, just be like... It's scored off screen, and it's like, oh, I saw you sidestep. All right, I'm heat-seeking now and just doing that to me. <laughs> yeah, no one has really figured out, like, the properties of that. Exact, yeah, rules of it. It's very random. It seems. Yeah, you generally want to stay on the same axis for a while until you know you know it's gone. But it's able later only glitch, so it doesn't really matter. It matters for us, but you know what I mean. Yeah. All right, big combo opportunity. Uh, if he, he should be able to build enough meter to uh, drain two bars. Oh, and nice. Recognizes uh, that's his last opportunity to uh, first. Although, I don't actually think it was worth it. Like, just take the 700 damage it would have added and drain Zero Lancer's meter. And that's 204 Diz. Yeah. Nice job, Diz. Uh, Diz doing his best to keep it in all Canadian uh, top three. 
No, nah, let's go, Sparrow. In that case, let's go. <laughs> the last hope for our neighbors to this house. Coma's busy sleeping. Didn't want to enter. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. He's really finding these hits. Uh, really nicely. Scar cancel. Okay, he's desperate. We haven't seen him do scar cancels uh, all all night. Like this, oh, not this, uh, Sparrow's searching for defensive options. Alright, just getting a nice activation. Oh, combo. unfortunately <laughs> misses the unscale that would have been the round, but he should still... Oh no, he will not get it there. Okay, well, a mountain to climb. Uh, yeah, more I mean, wake-up backdashes from Diz. Still like Diz staying in sword, though. Yeah, just yeah. having to get out. Because if wake he gets caught in bow, he's done. Yeah. <laughs> And Sparrow choosing not to spend the meter, I, I definitely respect it. Although, spent it immediately on a a combo that wouldn't have done a whole lot. I mean, at the very least, I maybe would have waited to see if he tried to go for the unscale and then burst it then. Um, that's not enough meter to activate. Definitely messed up Sparrow. Kind of stood there after his combo. Oh, is he going for it? Nope. Yeah, that's hard, man. Yeah, I think he tried to go for the arrows, but uh, his swords came out. So. There we go. Covering the back dash with his uh, JB, a multi hit. Hmm. Level three. Uh, All right, what, level what three. So big nice chip damage. Off. Look at it. Look at it go. Is it chip damage or? Yeah, look yeah. at his HP. Just get drained. And goes for the grab. Okay. okay nice block. Oh, goes I for the overhead. I love push block, but. Oh, this should be an activate combo to kill. Oh! Is that enough? Oh, no. No, no, he didn't no, get that. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna wake up super. Yeah. Was that a grow activate too, by the way? Yeah, it was. Yeah. And, and, that is... and that's it. 3 0. 3 0 for Diz. Sparrow's out of the tournament. This is a Canadian top three, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, that's why I was saying, hey, let me be a Kuma, man. Let me play, be the secret <laughs> boss and play whoever wins. <laughs> Just an exhibition set. Activation set. All right. If I you if I ahead. win, I'll do an exhibition set after. I'll say that. All right. <laughs> we'll do some possessions. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. All right. Let me let me go in. Let me let me pull out a real character. Bruh. All right. All right. So who's still in? It's uh, Titanium and uh... this and Lil. Five chain. Five? Okay, yeah. Alright, so this is a uh a rematch. Between this and Titanium, you know? Yeah, they played earlier. Yeah. It was Titanium who sent this to Blizzard. We'll see how uh, this. Uh... And I am back. Oh, this welcome is... back. I'm playing too much Tekken. Uh, Press <laughs> God step, and I, uh, got not too bad. Wait, you saying you've been playing Tekken? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. I have gotten Tekken. You should, you should play Melty Blood when it comes out. Yo, I, I mean, I like Melty Blood. I call yeah, myself that. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Uh, oh, let's play 153 games in a row. <laughs> we played a lot of games. Yeah. And I got one win by timeout. Mm. Uh, I do have to get back in the Melty, especially with the new one coming out. Yeah, we should, we should play the community build because the, the uh, rollback yeah. on that game is so godlike. Good. Yeah, it is good. Um, Nero probably should be in the game since he's an actual like Tsukihime villain. But they're saying it takes place before Tsukihime, so he may not. Oh. Be. It's a prequel. Well, uh, okay. I mean, I'm still mad there's no Shion. I'll, I'll just be on that salt train for a while. Yeah, man, what if there's what if there's a, a fate what if there's a fate character? Hmm. I like Melty more than this game if I have to be honest. What? But in in terms of actual like gameplay. I also just like Xion more than Zancer. I do just love Zancer though. I mean, hey man, what if Zancer's a Melty? <laughs> then I'll I'm buying that day one. <laughs> 
But they I mean, won't. Melty has my wife with there, so I'm I'm good with that too. <laughs> Which one? There's a lot. Archetyper. Oh, you archetyper. Fair. All right. Well, this has shown that he's uh, pretty on point still right now. And Titanium going with the Rider now on the start, not even messing around with the laser. Yeah, I like it. Because I mean, he was saying he's rusty with Rider, but it's good. So that that means it's good to do the start Rider at, right at the beginning, beginning, so he can get more comfortable. Because his rider is definitely going to have a better, like, it's going to, it's higher potential than, than laser, right? Like, oh yeah, so much more. Maybe not damage-wise. I think, honestly, laser it just. But just oh, more nice like, defense. Yeah. yeah. She does. Rider just is overall has more options, more tools, Stop and. Keeping him seen Honestly, Ooh. the less damage is just offset by the fact that she has like the second best meter drain in the game. Oh, that backdash to whip punish the throw. Yeah. Man, that same side makes up and hit and did every almost every single time. Oh, is that actually a little surprising for me too? Because he kind of blocked almost every single same side mix up from here. Yeah, that's true. I think he's just so used to riders going over and um, and casters not that he kind of just has the wrong yeah, muscle keep memory. Them, keep them right in space. Yeah, that's it by the overhead. Got the react to that. Oh, got our right oh, got our Oh, and that nice. auto corrected. Oh, try to get in. Yeah. Can just backdash yep. himself into the corner. Nice helm splitter. Yeah, and there's a helm splitter in the combo. You guys call it helm splitter? I call it helm breaker. Yeah, I call it helm breaker. I don't know. The it, Titanium called it helm splitter, and I call it helm splitter. I, I just call it the Dante move. Yeah, it's the same thing, you know. I call it the, like the way Helm Starter. <laughs> I do like the way Helm Splitter sounds, though. So. Oh, trying to keep himself alive. Ooh! Oh, nice whip punish, but uh, goes for the chain setup. Nice throw. Oh, beats him in the air. It is gonna it be a. Uh, ah, oh, yeah. He has to. Immediately burst. You know. The Titanium Foxy. gets kind of predi uh, predictable at that situation now, since he has one like pixel left in his life, mm -hmm. so he has to keep the pressure on. So anything that this can wake up, you can pretty much get him. Yeah, he got the hit with the cross up low, but yeah. this bursted him into the corner, and uh, yeah, good reset cool. there. I should end it here now. Okay, nice overhead. I guess this is too afraid to press anything there. Okay, get knocked out. Goes for another overhead after. Oh, punches the slide, but didn't go for it, so. This should be it. Yeah, that's pretty it. Yeah. Yeah, you keep it simple. Okay, 1 0 titanium. Looking good with this rider pick. Yeah, that's why I was like, usually we see Tateo go the same character all tournament, but there is money on the line, there's stuff on the line, you know, like, it's a bigger tournament. I think he wants, you know, I think he just wants to win at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not doing Bazette all tournament or something, where he, which he has done before, or like, Laser. Right, and the man doesn't block any of those mixies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's hard, right? It's hard to block Ryder. It's like so many options you could do. Okay, uh, just taking a breather here. You, y'all seeing this too, right? I'm not just yeah, yeah. Freeze, they, or, yeah, this, this is thinking. thinking. Okay. Whether you should zone, yeah, Ryder out or right. be close quarters. All right, I just making sure. I just making sure. I was like, man, did something happen? My internet go. Yeah, starts with a uh, standing B. Okay, meter kill. Okay, nice. Uh, Ender? Yeah. Honestly, what do you feel about that meter kill, Ender? Um, I would have, I would just used super. Yeah, I know. I, I like talking just about it. All right, Mister Kill though, he oh, doesn't get the unskill. But he's yeah, he's in the lead, but he has no Hunting. meter. But as long as he gets There's the kill, one. that should be fine. But. This All right, apologies for my uh, little absence there. Just got food, and I come back to yep. uh, Titanium just getting perfected. Yeah, How much perfect. have I missed? <laughs> uh, not much. <laughs> uh, the second game.
Oh, okay. Does okay, win the game with the first one, right? No, oh, Titanium got it. Okay, nice oh, backdash. Okay. Oh, I think uh, Titanium right, no. recognized Titanium that. Titanium getting another uh, Oki going for a side swap this yeah. time. Now cross up loads are coming out. Like I like how Titanium recognizes his situation right there. So he opt in to uh, do a rush down. And Titanium just keeping the pressure yeah. on with those uh, dive kicks. That's the corner. Meter kill. Oh, drops oh. it. Okay, nice. So for the viewers out there, uh, oh, EX, upper breaker. EX uppercuts with 623 C's in this game do uh, drain a little bit of the opponent's meter. 30%, I'm pretty sure oh, it was right. Yeah, it was like 33. 33? Yeah. yeah Although with um, some of them, there is an issue where a lot of the times, if it's multi-hit, the last hit is what drains. And yeah. if that last hit happens to whiff, no, then... It won't, you won't get the meter drain. Or no meter drain. Before. Usually they can air tech afterwards, and you just don't have a fun time. But uh, Titanium just setting up another OP situation already. Going same side and keeping that pressure up. Is blocking the overhead this time. Yeah. Oh, nice. Like, name burst out just In that for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ends it with the chain. Uh, Wake up, uh, activate. Up. Yeah. It's good if you don't want to take the mix. Oh, I'm still a Helmbreaker. Oh, this is the super jump, but gets another chain. Doesn't miss it this time. Up. Ooh, goes for a throw. side swap throw. Brings him in, goes for the combo. Nope. Drops it. Uh, first Bursts out, out of there. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with the damage. Nope. I, I feel it's more of like a. He just kind of want to lose his turn. Yeah, yeah. momentum. Wants to keep momentum. So yeah, that's another. He didn't have meter. Oh, nice. Mm. Back that chain. Oh, he goes. Now those are starting to hit this every time. He's oh, that's about a the bad burst. I'm business the burst, but Titanium off. Flubs the punish, unfortunately. That would have been a lot of damage. Oh, I should have punished the slide. It's on the back that's cancel and change. But not working, just just a punish. Activates on wake up, yeah. doesn't want to deal with it. He's in bow mode. Yeah, he's, he's, done. he's in bow mode. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. As Diz has said, man, that's such a round killer sometimes if they catch you in bow mode. Yeah. You get caught in bow mode, there's a good likelihood you just. Don't get out of bow mode. That's still what like are we one on of the right main now? issues 2 with him. 2-0 Titanium? Uh, yeah. Titanium's up 2-0. Feel looking like a 3-0 right now if Diz can't uh, adapt. Yeah, I went with the big stage there. You know, it wasn't working out, so. Running back all the way from downtown? Mm. You can do it, but I don't know. But damn, looking solid right now. Yeah. Knowing this, like, he I'm wants to submit. I'm the one who taught him the Archer stuff, so we'll see. He's my student, my Kohai, or whatever he calls yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if this can uh, adapt to his Titanium shenanigans. Alright, good. He drops the combo, but gets another pickup. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Gotta reset. Alright, starting to do easier combos now because I guess he's like not really confident anymore. He's been getting a lot of drops. He's like, alright, just gonna do something basic. I mean, basic works. Basic works. I I'd say the best combo is the one you can finish. Gets an overhead, opens him up. This kind of running away with this round right now. Oh, but gets oh, thrown bro. off of a helm. Yeah, that was up to you. That's like cut the billion. Oh. How close is that? Because I'm actually very surprised he got thrown there. Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to do. Oh no, drops the uh, combo. Gets punished for it. Yep. Oh, uh, what are you trying to mode change there? Uh, yeah, he, he tried there. to go for the uh, the air to super, super jump miss. Yeah. Like right, to do something simple. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna kill him with the helm sword there. Immediate burst. Wants to keep them and doesn't want to take any extra damage. Doc hit oh, again. Oh, got RG. I get the corner carry. I do like the stage choice because it's harder for Ryder to... The bigger stages against Ryder I like because it's harder for her to get to the wall. So yeah, when Ryder. she gets to the wall, that's when she usually gets all of her meter drain. So if you yeah. keep her from getting to the wall, she can't really get meter drain. Force is a good pick, too. 
Yeah, she, wake up? yeah. that was right. before. Even if she gets that. you to the wall, forest uh, wall is kind of just stop her from doing anything. Okay, nice break. Ooh. 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 Okay. Backbash just threw back everything there. there. Alright. Yeah, I know how you avoid all that. Oh, try to shoot me. <laughs> shoot me in this yeah, game. Shoot me in this game. <laughs> you can do it, though. Yeah. You can I definitely shimmy, shimmy, but uh, yeah, where shimmy, exactly you can shimmy, shimmy kind of depends on who you're fighting. And your character can't get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... hey, oh, I that was a bad person. Zero answer definitely. Yeah, his answer can shimmy. Yeah, he can just back dash, back fo back, uh, dash forward. Like, nothing. Okay. Got a nice throw. Oh, All right, time, yeah, time going down to the time. That's right. Gonna, there are time run. limits. Oh, oh he's running! He's running! He's running! He's trying to throw! Uh, Titan trying to throw! Diz your oh. back! Diz <laughs> is getting it! All right! Diz with the timeout! Oh out. my goodness! Diz with the timeout! Look at that! Was risky. That was risky! That was pretty risky from Diz, honestly. But he didn't get caught. It paid off! It paid off! What if what if Titan did like a two three six or something? But, but he didn't. He didn't. He didn't like to catch the back dashes or whatever. Like Ryder has a lot of options to catch that. Yeah. So. Um, it was just the way he was running away, but he didn't, right? <laughs> he got rice and saved, but he didn't. I got you, I got you. He didn't. Good stuff from this. Looking it was like nice, too, because he didn't, he didn't want to, like, make the, uh, Titanium block anything or whatever, because that's just meter built for Titanium, right? To be able to... Titanium is super, honestly, if, if he has super, mirror. But, yeah. Rider super smart. is quite big. Yeah, I but mean... But then here's... Here's the thing, though. If Archer had this, um, had a meter right, and then if he can predict the super right, he can just do a Royal IS on that. I was about to say, but he needs to be activated yeah. already. That's the thing, yeah. <laughs> That's what I did a few times against Titanium. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta already be activated. It's good in bow mode, honestly, bro. I, yeah. Because, you know, what are the you can't RG, so you have to do it. Oh, and he's super. Oh, oh, making no the glitch. Oh, he can punish him too. Okay. Wait, you can punish him after? Yeah, if he's on the in in the wall. Yeah. Now that's what I like to see. Yeah, you like the row eyes. All right, the conditions for that super people. You have to be act. It only works against projectile supers. That super count, and you have to be activated and do A plus B plus C during the cut in animation like, of what the are the odds super. of them actually so, doing it? <laughs> yeah, it's like really actually hard to get that super. <laughs> You don't see it a lot. But you know what? He got it, and I'm happy for it. Yeah, getting rushed down now. Very unfortunate that he is just not winning this round from uh, yeah. the whip looks of it right now. Gets in, though. Let's see if this uh, turn that he has now can kind of just go till death. Because he does have the uh, meter for it. Yeah. Although now with uh, just a raw activation by Titanium, he's going to be getting a lot of life back. RG. And honestly, I think uh, this is comfortable on this stage. He likes smaller stages generally. Oh, unfortunately, drops it. Got out. Got got okay. back in the short mode. Though. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna be enough. But this one will be if any one of them gets in. Just box in. Ooh. Oh, slides oh, under. All right, everybody's oh, getting no. this. Uh, okay, do an easy combo. That's gonna be it. That's yep. it. That's it for this round, at least. Yeah, this this going well. Is he gonna have two reverse sweeps in this tournament? Oh, that guy hit same side low. Keeping the pressure overhead. on, getting the overhead. I don't know what the trying to do that. Oh, oh, nice back back All right, good that stuff, Titanium. Hit. Yep. Yep. It's, that uh, invisibility is pretty long. <laughs> it's multi-hit, but it's a bit too fast of a multi-hit. Right, I think that's it. He doesn't yeah, drop. Yep, Titanium going by Titanium. Fully loaded. And now Titanium on a uh, match point. With, yeah, yeah, with three meter. Although Diz, uh, Diz has two meter by himself, and there goes a, a lot yeah, of it. He's a lot of meter trying to get the uh, uppercut into RG. Ooh, that would have been a big wood punish. Alright, burn the meter, yep. yep. Burn the rest of Diz's meter. Mix up! Okay, he goes for the meter, yeah. Okay. Alright, run up throw, take throw. Yeah, bring him in. Bring him in, gonna combo, gonna 
And with a knockdown, he's gonna go for no. Looking rough He's gonna activate, yeah. Yep, rock. Yeah, he has to. Definitely feel like that was the right call. If you got that wrong uh, guess on that Oki, he probably died. Yeah, he got some health back. Oh, oh that was the, yeah. wow. D yeah, just DPs through it. Yeah. I don't even know it can beat activation. Yeah, you, you can. Um, uh, there's a lot of things that beat burst actually. Backdash has beat it. Uh, like parries beat it. Like Zancer's two one four C. You'll just parry the burst or activate. Oh, didn't activate. No activate from Diz. We're copping this blocking, but didn't get it. Uh, he should uh, get enough to actually uh, burst. Yep. Burst. Okay. But he cannot lose another interaction. Oh, that's and it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Wake up, super. That was a good match. Yeah, that's that was great. Be a three one for titanium. All right. Um, so what's so the grand final? Level, level five versus five titanium. It's a run back of uh, winners. Titanium looking strong now on this rider. Like. Yeah. It, uh, wouldn't surprise me if he just rolls the rider against the. So we now, got our Maturino up, forty-four dollars sure. and fifty cents. The winner goes. What's the split? I think it was like five twenty seventy-five. Oh, what's it? the Maturino? What's the Maturino link? Isn't there a coupon code? Yeah, just do or exclamation point Maturino, and then the link should pop up. Yep. So winner of that will uh, win most of the uh, prop prize from Maturino. So we'll uh, figure it out how it's split up. But yeah, thank you guys for like supporting us and watching us. You know? And right now we're sitting at $45 in the prize pool. Yep. Thanks for the code, Coma. <laughs> uh, if, if for people who don't know, though, for the Maturino code, uh, there's only 100 actual uses. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if it does actually run out, then I believe below that are uh, little quests you can do to also add. Uh, we'll see if we run out, though. Yeah, yeah. Um... Alright, what's the code? Oh, you just uh, go to I claim don't code. think that. Yeah, you just click claim code and it automatically adds 50 okay, cents it. to the prize pool. Which uh, there is still 29 more for whoever anybody hasn't done that yet. Go ahead and contribute. Doesn't cost you a dime. Yeah, yeah. Just only a bit of your time. <laughs> it's like uh, real simple to do it. You don't even have to enter a code for that. Nope, not anymore. Oh, and the JC again. I know we say like Lancer's 5B is the best move in the game, but uh. Grand like is also first 2 3? Um, should be. Yeah, it's yeah. And a well. 6k unscale from level 5. That's a solid start. This is definitely his game to lose now. And Titanium dropping the combo. Good backdash though. Yeah, we've seen a lot of jump C's in this match. Jump back JC, beats the rider slide, and that's it. A right, good start for level 5. Yeah, level 5, uh, still su I'm surprised he hasn't leveled up to 6 yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, right. this, man is, this man is on a rampage still, and he's just constantly rampaged through a lot of our tournaments. Yeah, he's hungry too. Usually after the tournament, he'll be playing a lot of matches with us, so. Yeah, he, uh, snow slouch. Alright, wake up, activate. Doesn't want to block. I mean, I like it. It knocks the rider down, lets you get in. Alright, gonna build. Should build beater. Okay, there it is. Right when he built the one bar. Unscale, yes. Yes, and it goes for the setup. Oh, wake up. Activate. Almost yep. 6k. Oh, yeah. beats him in the air. Level 5, just consistently oh, getting the big damage. Him. Damn. I blocked, though. Oh, gonna go for the pressure. Oh, oh nice jump. Nice with the jump, A. Eh? Avoiding that uh, grab. Hey. Level 5, looking like a fast just 3-0 right now.
really just not letting Titanium have any room to breathe. Yeah. I mean, it's easier said than done. Trust me. <laughs> you said it's easier said than done, that's true, that's true. You know, play against a top level player. Yeah, yeah this is best of five if I'm not mistaken as well. Titanium off to a good start. Another mix-up opportunity, but oh, well, yeah, nice. he's, 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 yeah, he's not airborne this time. This is gonna be a full combo. Yeah, RG is a good option, which is it's risky doing the mix-up as Ryder oh, if your opponent has the side swap. Why Ryder Ryder wants to meter drink and do well do meter kill. Misses an RG there. Yeah. Probably gonna be an unscale here. Gonna yeah, see not a gonna kill good him. amount of damage. Uh, yeah, that yeah. that was a nice combo. Next interaction probably will kill him. Oh, oh gets the geez. teleport. We haven't. That's the first one I saw. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say that's the first one I saw. Not even just this tournament. I don't think I've seen last tournament we had too a while ago. I don't think I saw him do it. Yeah, that's the first one I saw tonight. Yeah, we and got he's the... sitting on a lot of meter. Yeah, I think we got the code. And thanks for the support. Okay. Oh, and nice. He's gonna super. Uh, is he going oh, to go for yep. another one? You have to end it. Go for yep. another one. Smart. Get that kill. Yeah, I saw that uh, level five. Well, one was airborne and two was activated, so couldn't really do like like couldn't activate cancel because already activated. So, so smart. Hey, so come on. What was airborne? Is... Anyway? Are you gonna play against the winner of this? You said I could have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta yeah, show. They, I, I don't mind. I don't, you don't mind. Up, uh... if, if you don't mind. I don't. I don't mind. I have time. This is literally the last event of the uh, oh, really? tournament, really? yeah. So, the floor is yours. Oh, Titanium dropping it. Oh, really? Huh. Yep, we still got a game. Uh... Oh, Fast Falls. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll try to go for the power that on or something. Back that chain. Alright, that's the first game, right? Yep, that is the first game for Titanium, so we are not going to see a 3-0, but Titanium still needs to win two games and then win three more after. Yeah, I mean, what does it say? Is it 1-1 or is it 1-1? Uh, no, it's 2-1. It's 2-1. Yeah, it's 2-1. One. Yeah, I think it's 1-1. One, one. Did I, I don't think it's imagine one. a game? Yeah, I think it's 1-1 one, one right yeah, now. Yeah, it's 1-1 one, one right now. Damn, I'm giving level 5 too much credit. Yeah, because the first uh, the first game was in the uh, Oracles. Oh, throw to RG. It was that in time. the uh, Holy Grail. The second one. Yeah, was that's right. And this is the oh. third one, yeah. Yeah. Alright, my bad then. Oops, did I see a Holy Grail? Sorry about the spoilers for Heaven's Field. Heaven's Field. For part 3, you know, part 3 just came out like a few months ago. Is this looking like a perfect from Titanium? It Damn. is. Yep. Titanium Although, uh, level 5 sitting with a full stack of meter. Yeah. <laughs> what? Catches the sidestep. Yeah, I'm about to say, camera take a little yeah. bit to catch up there. Another issue of having played like Soul Cal and uh, Tekken so much before getting back into this. Right. Sidestepping <laughs> is not a neutral tool in this game, yeah. nor defensive. Or it's, it's, it's a neutral tool, a neutral tool projectile. against projectiles. I'm gonna say, yeah, Clown in there, you, you know she, what she's gonna say. <laughs> and she's not wrong, it's not good defensively. You but try to do it, and though. you will get caught. Everything in this game tracks. Except projectiles. Yeah, it's best to use against projectiles, huh? And that's it, yeah. It's usable just enough for this game to have a third plane. Ooh, and wow, the air go for an OP setup. Ooh, drops it and doesn't RG. Gonna burst to keep his turn.
Yeah, Sam looking good right now, trying to bring it to 2-1 uh, and put himself in a better position to reset this bracket. Miss a super jump, though. Alright, just trying to snipe with the... Counter hit, oh, JC. Gonna have to burst there. Gonna want to keep his turn, but uh, loses Another the turn counter. nonetheless. Full meter, just does okay. Yeah, look at the health gain. Look at the health gain, folks. Oh my! Uh, that is probably gonna be sitting at about uh, half, uh, half of that bar. Okay, got hit though, so stop. Oh, nice. Titanium had to go in. Yep. Titanium had to go in to stop that health. Uh, health gain. Yeah. Like Still, we're going level. from uh, yeah, potentially Shiro, almost dead to now. Three hundred meter back. activate ability. Oh, goes for the dive and gets hit again. Yeah. I think he should end it. Oh, drops it. Wow. Does it jump? Burst yeah, out of there. I agree. I agree with that burst. Oh, and we're about to run out of time. Yeah, just run away. <laughs> get safe by the chain. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, Nick. Yeah, yeah I know. He... <laughs> <laughs> Either way or now. I know. <laughs> it was Shiro. It was Shiro versus Ryder too. That's yeah. the thing. It was like they were playing a Shiro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's one two. Early start for level five. Got the same in the corner. Tried to back dash in the corner to the titanium, but got caught. Okay. Oof. That's what. Oh, that annoying double jump of Shiro is like it does. Snaps with the JC and gets his in with the meaty. Okay, ends it, yep. Alright, and got to keep two meters. Yeah, two no, that's pretty impactful. He gets a free out anytime Titanium actually gets a turn. Ooh. Oh, nice run up there. Hit the grab. Right, I do like the adjustment yeah. from Titanium because he's been throwing in a lot more throws, like oh, there, to beat the reflector. Yeah. Going in, but not a lot of meter. Uh, a lot of not a lot of meter in the damage. Oh, nice throw! Throws him out of a DP. Good kind of stuff. Really yeah, the DP has a delivery bad startup. Oh, ah. misses the super jump. Unfortunately, doesn't get to continue the blunder. But uh, mm -hmm. still, the damage is done. Right, right. Well, look at the meter from Shiro. He can still do oh. a ton of damage. And counter hit. This is gonna be a yeah. pickup. Okay. Aim needs this round because this is uh wait this oh. is two one right oh. now. Three hundred yeah, uh, yeah. Holy Grail. Yeah, so Titanium gets this here he... sets, but uh, oh, he it's he gonna can... be a lot of life back. If you can do uh nine lives. Oh yeah, we do. There is nine lives on the table. Nine lives. Oh, no. and this is nine. gonna oh. no it uh, puts him much too far to do nine lives. How did no, 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 no. When though. when the super comes to hit him, he could have just supered it. I think it would have connected. It's two two now though. Yeah, that, that's something about uh, level 5. He really likes his Grail Activate. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, free health. That's true, but I mean, he's conserving meters specific for them. And you usually don't see that a lot in this game. You know, few, it, meters kind of just uh, get it and spend it. True. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of disagree depending on the matchup. I do think it is a little weird in this matchup because of how easily Ryder can just drain exactly. Zed meter. Because yeah. like if it's this or his answer where you just get hit, your meter's just gone. Yeah. I understand use it or lose it, but uh... I can definitely see why your saving meter would be something you would want to still do. Activate is still nice if you just get to activate, get health back for a while. Yeah, saving three bars though. Yeah, saving three bars is a little much. My man just playing conservative, I guess. <laughs> Gets the jump A. <laughs> what a fun move that is. Oh, that was a bad change. Yeah. yeah. yeah like baby. The kick. Okay, reset the gravity with the... Un I mean, get an unskip. Yeah. Reset the gravity with activation. Oh, nice. Nice dive. Oh, 
Like, the team really want this round. Like, he definitely honestly, needs to get it. it. Yeah, be good oh, nice deal. block. Because if uh, level 5 gets this round somehow, then he's just on match point and Titanium can't make any mistakes. Looks but like it does seem like he's gonna yep. get it. And then just, just, the and just kick him while he's down. That's, yeah, that's like his, that's match like point his. for this reset. Yeah, that's his taunt, you know. Yeah, if he wins this, yeah, it's a reset. Oh, unfortunately misses up the uh, input. <laughs> oh, oh, and gets caught. Dash, yeah. Ooh, good okie. Okay. I mean, it was just a mid, but hey, that KM got hit. If it oh, works, it works. Couldn't, couldn't backdash out of that low. <laughs> Pressure's on. Oh, didn't block the low. And this should be it. Great round from level 5. Has a bar, has about a bar and 60% of the second one. JC counter hit. Well, level five is in the lead. Yeah, this is great start for him. Terrible start oh, for Daniel. Gets the low. And level five with two full bars of meter. This you know, is not looking good for Titanium. No, no, he burns Titanium's meter. Titanium can't even activate. And gets hit low. Oh, the team gets his turn back though. Gonna have to run this whole round through right now though. If he yeah. drops this turn, then he might just lose. Although, uh, level five with that burst. It's going for the pressure. Oh, interesting. This is a one interaction right now for uh, level five. If he uh, just catches knife. him in the air, didn't that? Oh, throw. The RG. RG. Yeah. RG's not gonna work. No! Oh, has to burst. Yeah, that move has invincibility. Not on startup, but it wasn't a meaty. Ooh, TK's Ooh. a dive kick. Tries to fake something out. Yeah. Oh. And get oh, thing, that's it. That's it. That's it. it. Level 5 takes it. Alright, level 5. Congratulations to level making 5. Making Shiro look like a top tier. <laughs> A very good showing sure. by both. <laughs> I don't know if we do an exhibition, but I'm going to grab my stick. <laughs> Go Titanium ahead. adapting very well during that game, too. Very unfortunate for him, but level 5 just took it out in the end. Should we do a best of 3 out of 5 for this? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Exhibition? Probably. If you have the time for it. Yeah, I have the time for it. It's a shame we don't now just have to, Now he has to fight the final boss of uh, Heaven's View. We just need that big, <laughs> here comes new challenger pop-up. Yeah. Titanium, buddy. Ah. Unfortunate that you played so well, too. Thank you. I, I felt good. I felt a lot better than I was... I was scared. I was scared going back to Ryder that it was going to be um, a mess. Because like I knew in my heart, like I have not been a Ryder player for a minute. Um, I mean, being real with you, it was like a little bit the first few games you played Ryder, but you, you got back into it real fast. I, I, I felt good. I felt good about my uh, meter drain stuff. I was I thought I was going to get like no corner meter drain. It was um, a shame you dropped a few of them, though, but I know it it hurts, but that's it. I mean, like he was more consistent. GG, so, shake my hand. GG, shake my hand. So I'm going to pull him in here uh, and we're going to do a few winner's words. And then I think we're going to lead into our uh, our wrap up system. I don't know. Uh, we which have is a, uh, an exhibition. We have actually. a Thug Finals coming up. Yeah, do we have a Thug Finals coming up? Okay. Yeah, we do. All right, all right. While he's in here, you can challenge him then. Yeah. Uh, we I'm have the uh, the real, the real Heaven Seal in here. All right. And level five, welcome. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. <laughs> That's what you like to hear. I mean, like, you should feel good, dude. I mean, no, you, this was a... you're good, man. You Every good. time you play in a tournament, you somehow just consistently are better than last time. Yeah. Can we just... talk for a second about your reflect guards? You're oh still mad. Exactly. <laughs> Those okay. were insane, man. Like you were, you were good on my laser. It you were good on. Uh, you dealt with. You faced his right. I'm trying to remember my matches that everyone played. Um, uh, I think he did. Yeah, you played Diz, you played Sparrow, you played me. I mean, like you, you did not dodge people this tournament. You beat people. Um, 
No, 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 he didn't play Diz. Because you oh, beat Diz, Diz and Diz went into losers. Level 5 did not leave winners this uh, tournament, which is... No. Good job. Very good job, dude. Um, yeah. Uh, honest, I was scared of you, Titania. Because I okay. thought you were going to pick, uh, pick uh, Lazarus. Well, you were messing my laser up. My laser did not know what to do. Yeah, your RGs were on. My guy, you reflect guarded her spins startup. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Because I, I got. Uh, because uh, the, the more time I, I saw uh, how, how the attack did, it's like, oh, I can guess uh, what's the timing of uh, each each attack, each active frame or something. You, you can you can just like. And uh, because we, we saw it so many times, it's like, oh, uh, I want, uh, I'm guessing the timing, and then it's like, ah, bam, I got it. So you're just yeah. guessing frames? Yeah, I'm like guessing frames, and then... Uh, and getting the, it uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're With, a madman. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not like, <laughs> well, I need, I, it's not like uh, I, I know every uh, frame data, but it's like, oh, there's You know a the feel of it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's 100% it. I mean, I think... Uh, We've talked about Lazerit and like her potent her peak potential, and I think that that is the big scary thing. Just if your best buttons are twenty five frame startup, then Reflect Guard is terrifying. <laughs> and I got to feel it for today. I, we've talked about it in theory. I've not felt as lost with Lazerit as I did today. Mm. Uh, it really, really did a good job of shutting it down, man. Uh, okay, so I think I think that's. That's going to be it from us. I think let's... Uh, Nick, do we have any title cards that we want to put up? Anything we want to support? Uh, um, Let me see here. Um, we can always join our Discord. We yeah, have so, yeah, so that, that, that number one, if you're watching this game and you're not currently in our Discord, this is Fate Unlimited Codes. It is a, uh active online uh, community. Uh, this is run by the Toronto scene. So if you are... Anywhere near Toronto, feel free to come in. We're going to be hosting weeklies again once we can. Uh, mm -hmm. And if and until then, we have Parsec. And I, I was going to do a big thing for it, and then I got all caught up in my head. I will leak some a project that we are working on. Uh, we are currently working on implementing a always online Parsec arcade. So if yeah. you want to play this game, we want to be you will be able to say any time of day, anywhere you are. Well, you know, within probably within, reason. North, within North America, usually, uh, you you are able to play and practice and learn to play online. So definitely come join us our Discord. Uh, Sparrow, would you mind dropping a link in the Twitch uh, Twitch chat for us? Or in the I... stream? Or in the stream? That's what I'm yeah. saying. In the stream chat. Yes, uh, I can. Yeah, and come jo come join our Discord, and uh, we're happy to show you. We've got a lot of character representation, and we've got uh, all of the frame data collected painstakingly on our. Uh, on our dust loop wiki or not our dust loop it's um our mizumi wiki oh man if we could be on dust loop <laughs> <laughs> that's the next step but no we're, we're not no big links. enough for that yet um, the link didn't go in. yeah i don't know if but we yeah. have the uh title cards for everything but definitely if you're interested in this as well T toronto top tiers is running a lot of our events they've been supporting us for a long time uh me and nick are members and it honestly is one of the better fighting game communities to be involved in. We had a Toryukin was hosted entirely by them. And if you're interested in Guilty Gear, Fantasy Strike, um, Fate Unlimited Codes, I believe Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5. Uh, them's Fighting Herds, Street Fighter 5, and Sailor Moon S, of course. How could I forget? Uh, if you're interested <laughs> in any of those games or anything else we host, definitely join the Toronto Top Tiers Discord. Uh, and uh, as always, a short shout out to our entirely unrelated sister game, Fancy Strike. This game is complicated, guys. Fancy, Fan Limited Codes. Yeah, I hit a lot of buttons. You gotta learn a lot of stuff. If you want to slow things down, keep it simple. Check out Fancy Strike. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, no comments on its developer, but the game itself, very good. Uh, anyways, I think that's everything from us. Nick, is there anything else you want to shout out before we say goodbye to all the lovelies? Um. Well, we we got our uh, Toronto Top Tiers uh, social media and stuff so oh yeah definitely twitter yeah. facebook discord youtube you'll, yeah you'll see me in that discord complaining about guilty gear zato so yep. if you want to if you want to be a part of that definitely join <laughs> and uh real, real quick titanium if you could actually post that link in the uh twitch chat you forget i am still a normie oh yeah you are still a normie you are not uh one of us blessed mods nope all right I'll, I'll i'm just a forever. cool guy that gets to hang out <laughs> all, all right. right well thank you for watching tonight everyone um, uh, we're gonna have 
Well, Coma well, still wants to play against the uh, oh, the winner. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We, we have a uh, yeah, yeah, level oh, five. Uh, God. Yeah, <laughs> there, might, there might be no, a no, 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 I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Not yeah, gonna do it. Do it. we can do Coma? it. <laughs> nah, come on, Coma. You want to do come it? Come on, you'll be talking about it. Okay, I guess we can yeah. play. Yeah, do the exhibition. Come on. Uh, so first to right, three. I'll let, I'll, first to three, I'll, I'll I'll let you in. We'll uh, we'll we'll show some madness, and then uh, and we can all just hang out. This is the sort of the the after the after tournament hangout. So if you if you want to stick around for the exhibition, you are going to see. Uh, I don't want to over. I don't want to talk it up too much, but you might see some things that you did not get to see in bracket. Oh yeah, uh, we get to see some actual top quality play with them <laughs> in here. Uh, well, and I me... believe I was player two, right? So, yes. Uh, Coma, if you could do your buttons. Let me post the Discord link. Hold on. Oh, wait, is Titanium also not a mod in the uh, Twitch oh, thing? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> the irony. Uh, yeah, I wasn't even a mod until now for this channel. Well, somebody's got to get a uh, Discord link in there. Is that right? Left shoulder is your X button, by the way? There we go. Do your, I'll do that's right. Do, do your directions first, and then we'll Thank fix you, it. Nick. So again, anybody in the Twitch chat watching right now, that link that Nick just posted, that is for the Fatal Limited Codes Discord. Come on and join. Like they said, we're going to be trying to have more, uh, more weeklies, more uh, online tournaments. Yeah, once we can get that always online, uh, the, the number one barrier to these tournaments, just to be 100% open, is the cost of running them. Because uh, we do have, this is run off of a cloud PC that we rent for every event. Uh, but we soon should be shifting, assuming everything works out, to a flat cost per month cloud PC. And at that point, we can. that's how we're going to make it a always online system. Uh, should we go to arcade or persistent 2K? Arcade probably. Arcade is fine. Arcade is fine. Yep. Think of it as a tournament. <laughs> Think of it as a tournament? All right, I'll throw yeah. them into the void Get out of here. <laughs> And here we're going to see Koma's as Kire, one of his favorite characters. Is, is he pulling out his Kire? Oh, he's dang. Out yeah. Like again, like we said, we're even on the proper uh, stage. Don't forget too. to switch to the uh, stream screen, by the way. We get to see a nice little, uh, what we call it, the ca a cannon matchup here. Oh yes, you're right. Yep. I just gotta switch to that screen real quick. Uh, uh, actually, let me stream here for you guys to see. Yeah, I, I'm currently watching, but I'll wait for you guys yeah, to watch. catch up to get all the visuals. Yeah, it's on... Uh... All right, oh, we're no, good. Watching. All right, so I will say, I mean, the big thing is level five's combos should not change at all. Uh, who he's facing, what he's doing. Uh, he One of the biggest things that he picked up, and I was noticing it versus me, is he's working in a lot more meter drain into his combos, uh, which is annoying. <laughs> yeah. It really opens up his combos and makes it frustrating for his opponent. When I'm like, man, I just want to DP out or activate so you can't mix me up on wake up. Uh, yeah. He Koma doesn't care. Up the pressure right now. Yeah, Koma really good at keeping up that pressure. Uh, it's frame trap though, so he is gonna eat some of this damage. <laughs> Activates out. In level five, the 300 <laughs> activation. If Koma I, doesn't I keep this pressure that. up, he's gonna be getting so much health. Needs that hit, but gets the hit too. Now that was a. Was that a Grail activate or no? Uh, no, yeah, he, I, Grail, no, no but no, no, he is really. regaining so much health. He did. Actually, I think uh, it was a Grail activate, because Grail's gone. Yeah, Grail is gone. I, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was as well, and uh, what's it called? Level 5, a big fan of Grail activate. Uh, he, probably one of our players that's used his Grail super the most in tournament. He's the uh, only person I think I've seen actually use Grail super. I, I don't know if Koma can do enough effort. damage. No. Oh my... Is that enough? No oh, nice job. He needed to do the throw into activate. That might have been able to let him get out like one more strong hit. Oh, um, DP's out of it. Going to RG and get a combo. Oh, and gets the command throw. Fortunately, uh, level five, not enough meter to super. He will after RG super every time, every time. because every time, every time it is it is his bread and butter baby. And, and, uh, press RG, press for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? Yeah, if it's good and works, why uh, why fix what ain't broke? Now they're called keys, but we all know that they're daggers. Those daggers are uh, putting in work on counter. Uh, nah, no, those aren't. Those are more short swords than daggers. Well, fine, but like they're not keys. I don't know why they're called keys. Like there also isn't any black coloration on them. They have red handles. 
Yeah. Well, that's, that's, I think that's the symbol. I think when they come out, they're a bit blacker, right? I don't know. All I know is I keep preferring hearing black keys as the reference for them. But uh... Yeah. Listen, this isn't Kingdom Hearts. Like... All right. And unfortunately, he almost didn't find that kill because he thought he'd kill earlier, but the uh, activate healing was saving level 5. It was slowly keeping him in there. Now, oh, ooh, runs yeah, under. Finds his way under. Yeah, actually, a lot of command dashes in this game have uh, low profile properties. It's if you watched my, uh, if you watch, you watched my sets with um, everybody today. Uh, I was trying to use that with Ryder because her slide kick will go under a lot of tools, um, and it's one of her better ways to approach if she's struggling to get in on someone. Um, His answer is uh, two three six A has a uh, bit of an iffy low profile. Yeah, it seems like it's projectile dependent. Like every other one will work. Also, that he uh, really really put oh. the work in. Gonna burst does not want to eat that combo, and I don't blame him. Back no. is through that though. Good job on Koma, and his proper conversion off of it as well. It's going to see some ah drops in a fourth no. though. You have to RG pretty much immediately if you want to pick up that combo. Uh, you do not have a lot of time where they're bouncing and before they go into their actual knockdown state. Gets the low though, gonna force uh, level 5 to burst. Curate, notorious with his 2A. Very fast, very far reach, and he just gets a full combo off of it. Oh, gets oh and the air counter hit should, should be it. take it, yeah. He just needs to not drop it, and that super will definitely take it. Level 5? Level 5 going up! Is level 5 gonna run through our hidden boss coma? Is level 5 going to be the new top dog? <laughs> Shiro, secret top tier. <laughs> really? It it kind of oh. seems like it. Until we, you know, see the Lancer come out. But That's true. Uh, that there depends are a on lot if of, Koma wants to do that. There are a lot of characters in Koma's kit. I mean, I he still says he is a Kirei main, uh, but... Honestly, yeah, I don't he, doubt that, because he's super consistent with Kirei, but... Yes, yeah, that's true. The issue they can't is argue that, like, with Lancer being Lancer. I mean, yeah, just like losing the range that Lancer has, like, is a very, very different matchup than like everything Kirei can put out. Um, but he should be able to just work his way in. I mean, and I think that's the big issue. Right like, in order to get in, like, he has to throw his whole body as opponent. So it's like I think that Kirei just has a lot more potential to be anti-aired if he jumps in too much. Yeah. Um, granted, anti-airs in this game are of mixed quality as a whole. Now. Uh, uh, Koma, just keeping up that on-block pressure. Catching and pressing buttons. Well, One thing to know who, uh, about Kire for people who don't really know what he's doing is he does have Rekka series, and as long as you know what you're doing, which Koma does, thankfully, you can just have some crazy frame traps on block. Funny, because uh, Koma is not a big fan of those Rekkas, I know. He's, yeah. Uh, talked about how they have a lot of, lot of problems. They do, uh, but... When your opponent does that and respects it, and doesn't really know how to properly punish it, it is still nice. 49 hits, got one hit away from uh, the cap where you no longer gain meter. And uh, kick loops as well, definitely a fun thing to watch with Kirei. Also that damage is pretty nice. Yeah, nothing to sneeze at at all. And gets another reset. The big thing is, is just whether or not he wants to go for his unscales. Like, I know we, uh, we probably talked throughout the tournament about unscales, if you are unaware. Uh, unscale is just, uh, if you do a certain sequence of actions, usually it's put a projectile on screen and then do your super, and then the projectile hits and then your super hits, in that order. Uh, your super will hit as if it had, it was the first hit of the combo. Uh, which, as you can imagine, for a lot of supers is a really, really big deal. That's, uh, why you see a lot of characters, um, like with Shira specifically. You'll see he'll just randomly jump from, like, a 3k combo or a 4k combo to a 5 or 6k combo. Because that sword super just goes from scale damage to being the first hit. And in general, I think scale damage of supers ends up being about half of their maximum potential. Some lower, but uh, usually not too much below that. It usually uh, depends on the character and how the BNB works. That's true. Because, um, like, um, Zero Lancer's BNBs usually have that first hit deal, like, 800 and then, like, 600 for the subsequent ones. Yeah. But I do know some characters that do supers a lot sooner can just have it be... A lot less. Good run up by uh, level five though. Low yeah. profile under that black key. Now, low profile under black key has come in clutch for several of these games now. Um, and a, we are, good we, are one, we are one one right now. Just also to keep us uh, updated on everything going on. Punishes the knee again, and uh, unlike last time, level five not able to burst out of that one. 
And he is in a great position to get some more kick loops. Unfortunately, he drops it. I think he was going for the, uh, the DP afterwards. Uh, again, things that I'm sure we explained earlier, but if you're just joining us or just have been wondering, every Dragon Punch in this game, so 623Cs specifically, they cost 30 meter and they, on hit, the last hit of them drains uh, 50 meter from their opponent, which Ooh. is functionally half a bar. And uh, unfortunately, Koma, Eat and I, little yeah. interaction you need to know against certain characters like Shiro, Zancer, anybody with a fast invincible super, they just eat through bursts and you yeah. just get a free counter hit. That was a bad uh, burst on Koma's part. Oh, gets a counter hit, jump A. Gonna get a nice little combo off this one. Oh, blue beat. Blue beats, but he's fine. He's got, he oh, got all the meter in the world. and he Has to activate for it. that, but good stuff. <gasps> no, did no. not get the final hit confirmed. Uh, Back dash is through really the burst. Activate, though. This is so dangerous, actually. If he does not find this hit, uh, it will be one touch from Shiro. One so of the major hit. issues, actually, right now, he has one black key left. Uh, but look at that timer. I mean, Shiro, oh, yeah. I think, might come... Oh, I was going to oh, say, he might come the in look. with a command dash. But, uh, and right. just punches him, him in the face. Give him the one hand behind the back, jab him. I do Whatever love uh, Kirei's one hand stance. Ugh. Yeah, it seems like, like, uh, level 5 Cash struggling to deal with some of this key rate pressure. It's definitely a lot more deadly than, uh, than some of the stuff that he'd been seeing up until this point. I gotta work on my rider pressure to, like, get my, uh, frame traps tighter. Um, so I think that that's one big thing, is that level 5 does like to mash out a little level bit Level 5 right doesn't even mash out. He'll RG out of your pressure that's if it's true. not frame tight. Yeah, that's true, but like, the, I, I gotta find like ways to Ooh, leave like a two-frame okay. gap and then throw him. That's like a good a jump mix. back. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Should be able yes. to get good damage off this. Uh, I'm not sure he's gonna go for the unscale. No, he decides to just drop it after the meter drain. Although, he might regret that, because now he's dying. He's good. dying with a, He's dying with enough meter to have bursted, which is always an interesting thing to see. My guy, you died with burst. You died with burst. What are you doing? All right, level five, gonna take it to a bit of a big stage here. Does not want to get three one by our uh, our local hidden boss. The uh, the Akuma of the Fate community. <laughs> or uh, the Wadawa Gokui. <laughs> what? That's what he says. Wadawa Gokui. My name All is right. Gokui. Oh, big Goku fan, okay. No, no. In, I, 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 I know what you're saying, in, uh, Tori. <laughs> Japanese, his name is Goku instead of Kuma. Ooh, gets a counter hit. Actually, real quick, speaking of counter hits, I remember in tournament, I got a, uh, a counter hit JC. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Diz, and it just raw linked into uh, 6C. A uh, counter hit... JC to when into he was 6C? on the ground into six yeah. into ground at 60. I was actually really surprised when that connected. No, I believe it. Uh, it. When aerial counter hit, they usually give you enough time. So if you were rising during the aerial, you could still land and continue the combo. Um, that's like the big thing with like laser it armor pressure, is that like I start just jump jump uh, JB and like as long as it counter hits, I, it doesn't matter when it hits you. DP is uh, oh gets the throw. Unfortunately, Kyrie's throw can only combo in the corner, but gets the command throw. Not getting the pickup though, but gets his him low. Level five, just not blocking that. Oh, it looked like it was gonna be a drop for a second there, but... And I think still, it, it was uh, at some point. He got no, it, it, it was right to or the blue end. Or right? blue beats, yeah, after the, the timers, the, oh. or the, the health bar then. Baits the DP again, level five. It's, it's gonna really be some been, solid yeah. damage. Uh, he needs to get this meter drain, which I think he'll go for a second one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, this is, that's exactly what he was doing to me, and I, I big respect it. Uh, it functionally works out oh, to you Toma. spend the same amount of meter as your opponent when you do that, um, and that can often be worth it. Oh, drops the kickflips, unfortunately, but gets him with the 2A. And thankfully, it, the combo's pushing him far enough forward that he uh, does not get hit by it. Oh, counter hit out of... Oh, okay, didn't actually pick it up. The thing is, a hit command grab, it is very nice, but if you get hit at all during any special startup or recovery, it is always counter hit. counter hit. 
So that's a very important thing to know about this game. Specials are actually huge, huge commitment. I think this is and gonna kill him. Yeah, I think it will too. I think a lot. Oh, he doesn't drop. Oh, good activate. I actually kind of like that. Um, no, he definitely uh, needed to get some of that pressure off. But now Koma, also in a raw activation, gonna get his. Oh, that's, that doesn't matter. He should be dead here. This should kill because we just transition into kick loops. Nice Koma. job, Koma. Showing why he's still one of the best ones here. Definitely seemed a little rusty at the start. Kind of like a coma staple from all the times I've seen him. First round is that download, though. Just gotta get back into the game. Circling, yeah. I'm, I'm circling this top tier. Uh, nice job, back. Yeah. Uh, at first, I was like, man, I, I shouldn't play or whatever. But I, I, I couldn't get in a tournament or, like, I don't know. I, I wanted to get in a tournament that I didn't, and I won it, and I didn't, and I was like, oh, crap. Man, I want to play some. Yeah. <laughs> One thing no, I always see no with Koma, first round you're always a little rusty, and then the next two rounds you're just back to top. Yeah, it, it, g yeah. game two Koma is really uh really Game two Koma is the real threat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, apparently uh, Akuma is Goki, not Guko Gokoi. It's Goki, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, dang. Uh, the first match where he gets level five feels different. Win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, level five. There's there's still a mountain to climb. I mean. We're, definitely, definitely, like this community is not one where we're in a, we're, we are in a state where we all struggle with coma. Let's just face that fact. But I have no issue saying any one of uh, the players that we saw today could have actually taken this event. Like, like, oh, yeah. Spar yeah. like, like, like Sparrow, Diz, Rakir, myself, and uh, Level Five uh, is what really what we're saying. Uh, we're huge, huge threats on the board. And I'm forgetting the name of somebody who uh, played today. Mr. Uh, MKL, Mr. MKL, MKL, yeah. Mr. MKL is a homie. He did really well. Uh, He's a, he, I, did well. he hasn't played in a wow. while. We were talking after the uh, after our match. He, he has been gone for a little while, so he's a little rusty. Yeah, no no blast on him. I just was uh No, he still the played great. Yeah, he, yeah. Everybody today played great. It was a fun showing. Yeah, we got some really, really good matches in, actually. I was I always feel tired before we start playing, and then we start playing. I'm like, damn, 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 I'm good. You just uh, gotta wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I, can, can I be real? I enjoyed playing Ryder today so much. I like. I thought when I picked her, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel shame in my heart. I'm gonna feel like I gave up something. And then I started playing her, and I'm like, fuck, I'm sick. I'm. I, this is my gift to the community, letting them see how good I am. Yeah. You know, if I ever do come back, I'll be called as punished Kyoma now. Punish uh... Kyoma? Because, <laughs> uh, oh, you know, man. with all with this uh, long ass, you know, how should I Wait. say this? Definitely good to be back after a hiatus, though. Of course, yes, hiatus. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, and having a broken wrist is doesn't help at all. <laughs> so, yeah. I would, uh, I would assume not. But good to see that you are not really uh, too bad off after your little accident. Yeah, you that know does what? Suck. We we didn't say this when we were doing wrap ups, but by the way, thank you for uh for streaming this from us. By the way, man, oh, no, we worries. really we you really really appreciate, appreciate you uh coming in and uh and being our our man in the sky watching us. No, I'm I'm up there in the heavens, you know, watching <laughs> you lowly peasants play each other out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, all right, but so I think all good, but uh, thank you guys for like joining, man. It's, uh, it's no, it's always. really really good. Yeah. So I, I think we I, I think we should probably wrap up stream. I think we might still be hanging out. So once again, if you are interested, this uh, come join us in the Fan Limited Codes Discord. We won't go through the whole spiel again, but uh, it's a good time, and you'll meet a lot of good people. So if you're interested, definitely come check us out and say hello. Yeah, I'll post a link just in case you guys missed it. There you go. Yeah, that's our Discord. <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, well, with that, uh, good night, everybody. Thank you for coming out. Thank you, players, for competing. Uh, and we'll definitely do this again sometime soon, especially if me, once me and Koma sort out this online arcade setup. Oh, Our, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're bringing back...